Okay, today gonna be a fun one. Last time I sat down with this brother, I had a blast, man. I had a ball because this dude's insight is second to none. Welcome, Cali Zone. My man Bosco back to Vlad TV. Sko, what up? 100, 100. Hey, the last one did numbers too, Chris. Absolutely. I, I, mean, I know you were surprised. That shit was good. That was good. That was nah, good. we had a good conversation. We going to outdo it today, though. Yeah, for sure. It's a lot more shit been going on. Oh, my God. Yo, you know something? It's only one place to start this thing. Friend of the channel, my man Boosie. Boosie having a hell of a week, a hell of a month. But he home. Yeah. Yo, so... First and foremost, let's just talk about how he got popped in the first place. Turns out the feds was watching somebody else's Instagram live. Boosie at a, a video shoot in a known crip neighborhood. They see him on the gram with a gun in his back and they like, er, like diversion, focus on him. Then send the helicopter out snatch my man up, and lock him up. Does that even surprise you how that whole thing went down? No, not at all. And it shouldn't surprise him either. Like, he talk all this shit about the same shit, and you gonna do that. Like, bro, like, they're watching. Like, it's not, they're watching everything. You already know. You a nigga that know. You a street, you know they watching. They watching that shit. You can't, yeah, they on somebody... Instagram live, they watching. They on everybody's Instagram live. That's my thing. They are, they are like, yeah, he uh, he might have been an informant, but they on everybody Instagram live. That's where all this shit is popping off at, bro. They watching, like you know, they watching. He one of them niggas that should know better than that. Of course, they watching, bro. I'm not trying to be on nobody live with no gun, like like you know what I mean. It's like, and then you a high profile target, bro. You know they already targeting us. You 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 said that already, bro. You said it out your own mouth. So you know that was a big no no. That was a big no no. It was uh, you know what I mean. You made a mistake, bro. I can't Yo. be you know what I mean. I can't be mad at him. I'm not mad at him because you know it happens. But uh, you got you got yourself caught up in the whole world of shit now. Like it's a whole new level now. The feds. Is looking to pick this shit up. This shit ain't state level shit. This is the feds. And clearly, if the feds getting involved, they know they could do something. Like, you know what I mean? So basically, like, honestly, you're going to take That's a five year mandatory minimum type situation. Like, you know what I mean? And it's just like, unless you're going to do the T.I. Lil Wayne route and get the year and a day. But then everybody going to be looking at you like, how you get a year and a day for a prisoner? You must have gave up some info. It's just a bad situation all around. You know what I mean? But shout out to Boosie, man. I hope he, you know what I mean? I hope he make you through that shit. But it's just when you a real nigga and you know the laws and how this shit work and how this shit go. Yeah, you looking at a five-year mandatory minimum sentence, bro. You know what I mean? How crazy is it that, I mean, it ain't even crazy. It's just common sense at this point. Like, everybody in this game should assume the feds is watching. They're watching. Like, like They're watching. they literally are watch, Like, they are following you. It ain't, it ain't like, you know, they, they don't follow you. They got all these high-profile dudes, like, follow him, follow her, follow this one, follow. I don't know how people are still getting caught out there. <laughs> <laughs> like, because, you know why? Because everybody wants some views and some likes. Everybody want to get some more views for the day. Like, it it go day, I go week, I go days without posting shit. Like, I could go, like, days, like, some days I don't even feel like looking at Instagram. Because I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to have an opinion some days. Like, some days, I'm like, I don't even care what's going on. I don't even want to see that shit to have an opinion on it. And you got to know that, like, you got to, like, how they say in the streets, stay out the way. Sometimes on the internet, you got to stay out the way too. Like the internet mm -hmm. is, you can easily get in the way on the internet too. You got to stay out the way still. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, um, and, and like you said, I mean, this dude high profile, like the, the, the state, they was ready to throw the charges out. They, they gave him, they gave him bond. Boosie was good. 
Uh, prosecutor came back and was like, nope. Like, like we holding you. Cause they know they could get some up out you. They know you're they know you're a convicted felon. You're a high profile individual. And they know you're not supposed to have no firearm. And they know you crossing state lines. Like, you know what I mean? You crossing state lines and they know, like, they could get you. They know that. Like, you think they don't, like, just like these dudes on the internet is clout chasers, how they like to call, oh, you just a clout chaser. You just, you think these FBI's and these police ain't clout chasers too? You think they don't want to be, oh, yeah, I arrested Boosie. Oh, yeah, I, mm. I locked Bosco up. I got, like, bro, that, yeah, they clout chasers too. Like, but here's the deal, right? Like, everything Boosie stand on, if it ain't if it ain't no other thorough dude in this game, Boosie Thorough, how much they really gonna get out of this man? Like like Boosie gonna sit down or you gotta sit down? So that's you just gonna sit down then be an example. You know what I mean? You just gonna sit down and be an example then. I mean, that's what you like to like, you know, everybody likes to feel everybody thorough and go, you know, we're gonna find down the end, but you know, thorough as you is. You finna sit your thorough ass down, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, you know, in the end, the judge sided with him. They said, yo, the deal was made. Allowed Boosie to go home. He posted the bond. He went home. Matter of fact, he was at the BET Awards. Yeah, he made whip. it. He made it. But he made it. I see. Did you see it. him with his two lawyers at the BET yeah, Awards? He made it. That's the only person he could come with. Only his two <laughs> lawyers. He made it. I seen that. But... Honestly, I just feel like they finna try to make an example out of Boosie. Like they finna make an example. Cause like you, you, you more than anybody should know better. Like as much shit as you talk and much shit as you speak on and you, you should know better more than anybody. Like what? Like I'm not like, especially if I got as much money as you supposed to have. And like, you know what I mean? You, you, you a more influent artist, bro. So you supposed to be able to afford armed security. Why are you even touching a firearm? Like, nigga, you a nigga that could afford bodyguards and security. Why are you touching this shit? Like, I don't give a, I'm not. Like, bro, whatever we had to prove in the street is already proven, bro. Like me, I already proved. Anything I needed to prove in the street, I already proved it. It ain't, it ain't like, like to the public, I, I don't care I, me i'm just a man of action when shit happens i'm gonna take action i'm gonna deal with it accordingly like i don't have to show y'all what i you know what i mean i don't have to like i don't have to do it on camera like and i always was like one of them people like like i do a music video or something i made sure like not to have a strap or like you know what i mean because it was like nigga i know they watching like you think they just watching me and they just you think they just sitting back and, and watch you commit crimes on the internet and ain't thinking of ways to get your ass charged? Or, this is their job. They like they lock people up, so they're watching, looking, analyzing, waiting, looking for something to lock your ass up for. Like just like me too, like anybody else. Like you know what I mean? I gotta move right the same way. Like so, I can't, I can't act like I don't know what's going on. I just gotta move accordingly, just like. He's supposed to move accordingly. Like, you know, Boosie, you're a real nigga. You're a street nigga. You've been through shit. You know them people watching. You know they watch. They watching, nigga. It's just that. They watching. You, you know what's crazy? We live in a whole different era. Like, they don't even have to watch too hard. It's not, it's a lot right of these here. dudes is jumping on the internet, snitching on themselves. Bro. Dudes is, is telling you what they going to do before they do it, then film they self doing it. Like, how much they don't even have to watch too hard. I swear to God, I was just on on the way here. When I was on the way to come do this interview, I was looking at some shit. One of my partners sent me this shit. And it's a dude, he like, yeah, I'm fresh out of jail. He like, yeah, I'm fresh out, back out. But I'm like, this nigga fresh out. He making a video talk about he fresh out, but this nigga got a fucking Glock with a 30 inch, a 30 fucking round clip hanging out his pocket. Mm. So I'm like, you fresh out, you finna be fresh on your way back. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Like, bro, you finna be fresh on your way back. Like, you fresh out of jail, you been out a couple of days, and the first thing you do is make a video with a fucking Glock with a long ass clip hanging out your pocket. It's just idiocy. It's just, and I can't, I can't even feel sorry for niggas. Like, it's just like stupid shit. Like, why would you do that? Like, why, why would you think that was like 
the thing to do. Oh, yeah, I'm fresh out of jail. Let me make a video with a long ass clip hand. Like this California, we can't even have them clips. Them shits ain't even legal out here. Like really, like them down south niggas, all that shit, all that shit. They they could do that out here. That shit not legal out here in Cali. We can't even have over a ten shot clip. They sell a ten round clip, but we can't have that shit. Why would you be a nigga fresh out of jail? And the first thing you do is make a video with a long ass clip hanging out. It's just stupid shit. Like you can't feel sorry for niggas. Nah, I'm going to tell you that clout, the, the, the fame, the attention. It's a drug. That, that is, that is a, that's the most addictive drug on planet Earth right now. Getting them likes, that's more, like, that's heroin. Like, niggas need that. For real. And it's crazy to see people who know, like, see, know. See. I'm, I'm giving the feds. They don't even have to come looking for it. I'm giving the feds exactly what they need to lock me up. But it's more important for me to get likes. It's, it's the most crazy thing I've it's seen just in the my new, life. That's the new world. It's just the new, that's the world that we living in now. Like, you not valid. Like, now the whole thing is the internet. Like, nobody cares about what you did in the street no more like that. Unless we could, like, you know what I mean? If we can't view it on YouTube, we don't give a fuck about what you did in the street. Like, no more. Like, people want to see that shit on YouTube and like, you know what I mean? We want to see what you doing. Like, nobody cares. Like, you could tell us stories about your street life. Yeah, that's cool. But people want to see a video. Like, people, it's like, once you get like, you become a person, it's like your life doesn't exist right now if it's not on video. If it's not on video, you don't exist. Like, I can say I had a fight this morning, but if it's not a video on YouTube, uh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. You know what I mean? It's just like, yep, yep. you don't exist in this world if we can't watch it on YouTube, pretty much. That's what that's what, that's what what it feel like we come into. Like, if it's not on YouTube, it didn't happen. But you know what I mean? Yeah, okay, so I got to ask you before we switch topics. Boosie or OG? Like, this, this ain't nobody who don't know the repercussions. Like, how, how do an OG even get caught slipping like this? Like, I, I you know, because it wasn't like he was doing it for clout. Boosie an OG entertainer, though, bro. Like, like you've been entertaining. Like, Boosie been rich since, like, the early 2000s. Like, like you're like, like come on, Boosie. Like, Boosie's an inner, he's a rich entertainer. So, like, you know what I mean? He still feel the, like, you know, you could say he the realest nigga and, like, tell, like, a lot of niggas been to jail and beat cases. That don't make you the realest nigga. And, like, you know what I mean? So, at the same time, he still kind of got a show. You know what I mean? You got to back all this shit. Like, like I, I say it all the time. Like, like you could say whatever you want. I could tell you. I could tell you I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm going to whoop your ass, Sean. Like, Sean, I'm, I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm going to whoop your ass. I could whoop your ass. You can't beat me up. I could whoop. But until I whoop your ass, what the fuck does that shit mean? Like, if you, if I never showed you that I could whoop your ass or I never pulled up to have a fight, what does that really mean? Like, you know what I mean? So, like, he could say up. Uh, like, at some point. He got to do some things to show how real he is. Like, you know what I mean? And a lot of street street dudes and real street, so-called real street niggas get caught in that same, you know what I mean? Because you want to be respected as this certain person. But at some point, you got to show us that you deserve this respect as this person. Like, you can't just keep saying it, saying it. Yeah, I'm the realist. I stand on business and all. Yeah, at some point, you got to show us what you like. You only as good as your last transaction. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, yeah, you caught that case and it'll be there. Yeah, that's good, cool. But you still, like, got this. So at some point, you got to show the people that you still real. Like, you trying to live in this image. So you still got to show the people how real you is. Like, you know what I mean? I got, I still, yeah. it's like being an OG from the hood. It's just like being an OG. Yeah, I'm a GG from the hood. I done did all this and did all that. Y'all need to respect me. But what you did and everything you did, you been did that. Most of these niggas wasn't around for that. So you still have to show these niggas how real you is. Like, you know what I mean? You still got to pull up and slap a nigga upside their head sometimes. Or, you know what I mean? Whip out your burner. Like, you know what I mean? You got to come. You only as good as your last transaction. So you really got to. If you trying to live in that light and be respected as this real street nigga and I'm the realest. And all, all right, you got to show us how real you is. You know what I mean? Show us how real you is.
And this just another just just another situation where Boosie just gotta show how real he is. You know what I mean? You wanna be respected as the realest nigga and one of the goats and I stand there like, all right, let's see. That's just what it is. Yeah, I hope it worked out for him though. Real talk. Yeah, like. I mean, you know. Okay. Um Zion Williamson. I'm sure you see what's going on with him and his soon-to-be baby mama and I guess his side chick, Mariah Mills. She is trash, bro. Yo, this chick is different. She is trash, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, these dudes be having so much money, bro. Like, I this is the thing that I just hate, bro. Cause these dudes be having so much money. But they get caught up with the the bottom of the barrel is ass bronze. Like, I just be like, bro, like, like, bro, I can never, it's no way. Like, bro, I see fine, like, bro, these niggas be so stuck in that Hollywood rich nigga. Like, it's like a pocket of like what you should do when you rich and who you should fuck with. And like, bro, it's way fine. I see way finer, badder bitches on Instagram all day, every, like nobody knows who they are because they're not famous. But it's so many beautiful, bad women in the world, bro. Like, I can't even go down my timeline without seeing a hundred of them. I can't look at my Explorer page on Instagram without seeing a hundred fresh new bad bitches that I've never seen before. How do y'all get caught up with these fucking ran through ass fucking strippers and these ran through ass porn stars? And it's just like, it's so weird to me, bro. It's like, nigga, you's a fucking multi-millionaire bro it's finer i could go in walmart and, and pick up a better bitch than this bitch like like you know what i mean it's just annoying to me the caliber of bras that these fools get caught up going through this shit with it's just like bro this what like her porn is trash like i i ain't even know i don't even watch porn because i one i don't watch porn with penis in it like, play, i don't watch porn with penis so i like i wouldn't even see her but you know her name came up and I had to like look into it. So trash. It was like, bro, like, it was like, it's just, but I already know in your mind, you had, oh, I'm fucking this porn star. She's a famous boy. Fuck that famous porn star. I know a non famous ass girl that just live on the block and would have gave you a way better time than that porn star. Hey, you would have had a way better time with her and she would have not said shit. Like, you know what I mean? You're like, y'all get caught up in these situations trying to deal with these clout chasing ass Hollywood comebags. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's like a Hollywood comeback. Like, yeah, like, oh yeah, she's a porn <laughs> star. Oh yeah, let me fuck it. Like, bro, fuck this. I'm gonna make a bitch a porn star. I'm the type of nigga, I'll turn a bitch to a porn star, bro. I'm like, like, bro, fuck these porn stars. Like, you think like, like if I was just a multi-millionaire scope, imagine me at scope right now, Bosco, I just came across a hundred million. You think I'm finna go wanna fuck any of them porn star bitches? Like, I'm not finna go wanna fuck Aaliyah Hadid and all these little porn stars. Like, I don't want none of them. I'm gonna make a bitch a porn star. I'm finna turn a bitch into a porn star. Like, bro, these niggas, <laughs> like, they get stuck in that Hollywood shit. It's like, bro, be a real nigga. Like, bro, there's bitches all outside. Everywhere you go is women. Like, beautiful, beautiful ass women, regular women to just, at the gas station pumping gas, bro. Just a regular at Ralph's buying some bottled water. So like, like, bro, I see beautiful women all day, every day. Stop getting caught up with this Hollywood bullshit, bro. That shit is trash. Like, bro. Yo, but I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, that must just be what he's into. Because to this whole thing jumped off because he made an announcement that him and his girlfriend was expecting a child. Come to find out, and I, and I think I got, if if his girlfriend, the one he's currently with, I think she's a porn star too. And if she's not, let's just call her an adult film creator. <laughs> like, like mm. so he just might be into that whole thing going on over there. Hollywood that. though, that's that Hollywood shit. Like when you can have, like, you just, you want the one that's famous because you're famous, but you don't understand. I can make a bitch famous. I can make any bro famous. Like, I'm, I'm already famous. So, you know, I don't have to go, I don't have to go find a famous girlfriend 
just because I'm famous or I'm like, you know what I mean? I don't want, like, that's not, it's like Ben Affleck and J-Lo. Like, it's like, oh, I'm famous, so I'm going to find a famous movie star girlfriend too. And we're both, like, why do you have to do that? Like, you don't have to do that. Like, I'm already famous. We don't both have to be famous. Like, I could be a multimillionaire and why can't I just meet a nice little nurse that has, she makes a good income or a doctor or a psychiatrist and she makes a good income? Like, they just stuck into this whole Hollywood image, bro. And it's like failure for real niggas. It's like a failure, bro. That shit is trash. Like, it's no like, like I've been like I've been a known popular motherfucker for a minute, but I don't even re like, bro. I don't even care to go to them parties and or like I get invited to so much shit that I turn down or just don't even go to, bro. It's just like, uh, like what's like, I don't care about that shit, bro. I see badder bitches every day, like just like. Ice Spice is cool. Don't get me wrong. Like Ice Spice, Ice Spice real. She wasn't the one that's popping right now. She, it's like she's cool, but she's not the baddest bitch in the world. Like I don't have to like want Ice Spice. Like it's like if I don't fuck Ice Spice, I don't got a bad bitch. Like no niggas, bad bitches everywhere. But I don't have to fuck Ice Spice or have to put my attention on that to get set up into you know what I mean. Get end up in a bad situation. Oh yeah, Bosco fucks Ice Spice. Oh yeah, he got, like you know what I mean. It just it doesn't have to be that, bro. You niggas got money, like you having shit your way, nigga. Go explore the world. Try quit trying to like stick to this Hollywood shit. This Hollywood shit is that shit is smoking mirrors, bro. It's all smoking mirrors and it's just like it's a whole world out there, bro. Stop getting stuck in Hollywood. You know what I mean? Yo, well, I'm going to tell you something. Um, that Mariah chick, she different, son. Like, she she went on Twitter basically demanding the Pelicans trade them, said she was going to put out a set. Why? She, like, for what? I mean, I, you tell me. Why? Right. It don't make no sense, And, and bro. then turn around and, and get the man's name tatted on her face. Why? Like, see what I'm saying? Just a bunch of trash, bro. A whole bunch of trash. Like, And he's like... And she has a bit of a platform so she could get this out here. You could have been fucking a regular old baddie from the hood that you met at the Sloss and Swap Meet, bro. She wouldn't have said shit. You know what I mean? She wouldn't have said nothing at all. But you want to go fuck on this porn star, whack-ass porn star. That she ain't even a good one. It's like, that. Yeah. Like, bro, it's trash. Like, porn is trash. Like, like, bro, she ain't even a good one. It's just like... I mean, but to each day on, bro. Like, you know, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So, nigga, if you thought that, if you if that's what you liked and that's what you was into, you thought it was a beautiful, you made your bed now lie in it, nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Basically, I like I, I can't even feel bad, nigga. You made your bed lie in it, nigga. Fuck it. Loss of Pippin. Scotty's she as fine the as, name I ain't suggests. Gonna lie. She fine as hell though. She low key fine, but Ran through though, ran through ratchet, like bro, just <laughs> ran through ratchet, getting fifty percent of your fucking pension, like bro, your fuck, this ran through ass ratchet that niggas done hit, done hit. She like, bro, this bitch getting fucked on by niggas you old enough, old enough to be your fucking grandson, like damn near, like she fucking like, bro, and you gotta give this broad half of your fucking pension. That is like, bro, I, that 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 was like. I was just like appalled when I heard that. Like, what? Like, what? Just a, like, bro, like this ran through regular ratchet. Like, bro, why? What, like, where was your prenub at? Like, like, where was the prenub? Like, bro, you really thought this girl, like, was just gonna love you and fall in love with you and just, like, one day we're just like, if we ever leave, it'll be amicable differences. And like, like, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, why would you do that? Like, bro, these dudes, is, these dudes with money is so retarded to me. Like, it's like money don't make you smart, bro. It don't. Money That's don't make talk. you smart. It don't make you smart. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's crazy because it, it, it's, it's, it's out there now. It's known. Scotty and Michael don't have the best relationship. Ever since that last dance documentary, Scotty been going hard with his feelings toward Michael Jordan. Come to find out she's sleeping with Michael Jordan's son. <laughs> Future was knocking it down. Bro, like, and why do you owe her some money? Like, why do you owe her some money for that? It's crazy. It's cra here's, here's the craziest thing, right? 
The only reason we even know her name is because she's Scotty's ex-wife. She's making a living off the fact that, yo, I'm Scotty's ex-wife, and now I get half of your pension while I'm still out here able to make a living using your name. It's bananas. But that's the game now. Why is it Why is it any different than Kim K, Kim Kardashian? All these bitches got rich off a of nigga meat. Like, somebody meat made all these bitches somebody. Like, who were these people before somebody's meat? Who was Kim K before Ray J's meat? Who was she before Scottie Pippen's meat? Who was Shawnee O'Neal before before Shaq's meat? Like, they're like, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, nigga, the meat is, a lot of these bitches are getting famous off of meat. Who was Amber Rose before fucking Kanye West was fucking her or whoever, like, you know what I mean? Like, they were, not, who was Black China before Tiger was fucking her? Like, you know what I mean? They are like, that's just the new game now, bro. And you gotta let yourself, you gotta keep yourself safe. And when you, when you, when you a player in the game, you gotta make sure you got your shit right, bro. You can't just be laying, laying the meat and giving access, giving these bras full access backstage passes to the money and everything. And it's like, bro, like anything can happen one day. Like you really like let her like fool you and feel like it was going to be like this forever. And like, bro, you, you, it's like, like y'all don't put no insurance on yourself. Like, bro, it's just like, okay, I love her. She loves me. I'm going to give her all access backstage passes to the money and my heart and everything. <laughs> She's just like, all right. Like, what about when she gets hired in a concert, though? Like, like, what about that? Like, so you're just going to give her all access to leave with half of the money, too? Like, like, it's just like, it's ignorant. To like, if nothing else, bro, you didn't learn from fucking, like, Dr. Dre. Like, look at Dr. Dre. Like, he had to break his wife up. Like, this nigga get like, bro, it's just like, y'all should learn from the people. Bro, the, the most expensive divorce in history, Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg, well, that was like the most expensive divorce ever. If you ain't learned from that, then you just like, bro, you just a fucking idiot at this point. Like, you deserve to get your money took. I think you you deserve to get your money took. You just like a trick. You ain't nothing better. You ain't nothing more than a fucking John on the blade trying to pick up a prostitute real quick. Like, you might as well be put in the same boat, bro, because you're a fucking idiot. You deserve to get your money took. Yo, but I'm going to tell you something, Sko. It's one thing for you not to have your business taken care of. Like, <laughs> clearly she made a fortune off this man in a divorce. But it's a whole other thing. Like, to watch your ex run around town and sleep with everybody. Like, Future done had it. Tristan Thompson had it. Um, Malik Beasley. See, Marcus got ran Jordan. through, ran through. And, and this is just the dudes we know of. Ran through, ran through. Like a regular ratchet, but you letting her walk away from you with half of your fortune, bro. That is like the, that is. I mean, hold up, hold up. She already got half the fortune. Now, she getting half of your retirement. So, as long as you alive and you getting retirement checks from the NBA, she getting, retirement she getting half. There you go. Crazy. Idiot. You deserve it. I ain't gonna lie. He deserved it. You deserve it. Speaking of people deserving something, let's talk about John Morant. Suspended 25 games. A another one that went on the gram. On the gram. Flashing a handgun after he just got suspended eight games a few months ago. For the same shit. Same thing. You What's your thoughts it, on bro. this one, kid? You deserve how you feel sorry for it. Don't feel sorry for the like, bro. You were part of a fucking billion dollar, multi billion dollar franchise. You one of the faces of it, nigga. They're paying you hundreds of millions of dollars. Why the fuck do you want to be a gangster so bad, bro? Fuck that gang banging shit. You think it, Bosco? had a hundred million dollars that I'm finna be on the basketball court throwing up gang signs or fucking on Instagram a lot of shit. Like, bro, no. That's what I got my homies in the hood for. I'm finna be showing you this good. Like, nigga, you finna see my toes out 
on my fucking yacht, nigga. I'm finna be on my yacht with my toes out. Like, nigga, like, nigga. <laughs> bro, why do these niggas want to be gangster and show they street? Like, a, a neighborhood would be the last fucking thing in the world I would think about throwing up. Bro, I be throwing up peace on it. Like, bro, peace. I just left away with $10 million. Like, basically, I just got paid $2,000 a minute to play. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not, like, bro, I'm not... <laughs> Fuck this street shit. Like, why? Like, bro, do that shit in your own fucking time, bro. In the public eye, like, you know what I mean? It's just like the fucking lawyer. Like, the lawyer, the lawyer comes, he come to court, he gonna have on a nice suit. Nigga might have a nice Porsche. Nice kind of everything. He's a lawyer. He has a public image to uphold. But you think when that nigga, after court, after court is over at court recess, he don't go to his desk and open his fucking Scarface box of coke and take a couple of lines and <laughs> pour him up a shot of yak. Like, like, come on, bro. He's not he not gonna do it in the courtroom. Like, bro, this is business. Like, bro, this is your business. Like, like the internet is your business. Like, bro, you gotta be the most cleanest character you can be in front of these guys. When them cameras is rolling, bro, you supposed to be Mr. Rogers, nigga. When you that level of a nigga, you making that much money, you're Mr. Rogers when them cameras come on. Bro. Anytime there's a camera in the vicinity, you're Mr. Rogers, nigga. Now, now if you want to go be fucking, fucking uh, Mr. Marcus after the cameras cut off and go crazy, <laughs> you want to go be Mike Tyson, yeah, that's cool. Like, bro, but while them cameras is rolling, you know you got an image to uphold. These people is paying you hundreds of millions of dollars, nigga. Get your shit together, bro. Like, get your shit together. Like, like nigga, I, everybody know where I'm from, right? But you think if I was really, if I was, just imagine me getting fucking, all right, if Vlad hired me, all right, all right, oh, yeah, Bosco, he just got a podcast through Vlad, and he hooked up through Vlad. You think I'm finna be on here talking that street shit and street bullshit? Like, bro, fuck that shit. Like, nigga, we trying to, like, you know what I mean? Nigga, I'm advancing in life. I'm excelling, nigga. We... You know what I mean? Like, nigga, y'all know what that shit is on that level. Like, nigga, we're trying to, like, you know what I mean? I'm, I got a whole different audience now. Like, nigga, I'm not finna, like, bro, like, nigga, people are just, I just think it's just ignorant. Like, you know what I mean? Money don't make you smart, bro. Like, these niggas get money and they just threw into a position, but it's like your mentality and your thought pattern ain't really set up for it. Like, you know what I mean? It's no class, it's no class to tell you, oh, this is what you should do. When you, you know what I mean? It's just like these niggas get money and go crazy and just do, it's just like impulsive. Like, I think a lot of this shit they do is impulsive. It like, they showing you who they really are. Honestly, like, I feel like they showing you who they really are, but it's like, it's a time and a place for everything, like they say, and just... He just don't seem to get it. Like, it, does, it just don't add up for him. Like, oh, yeah, I shouldn't. Like, you know what I mean? So, nigga, I, honestly, for me, nigga, you deserve it, too. You don't give a fuck. You deserve it, too. Whatever you got coming, you deserve it, too. You don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Yo, so let me get this straight. If if Bosco is worth $100 million, we going to see you on a yacht somewhere with a British accent smoking a cigar. No, like, I'm not going to have a British accent. But you definitely going to see me on a yacht smoking a cigar. Was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? With my toes out. Like, with my toes out, like, on a yacht, like, some champagne or something. Like, yeah, you're not going to see me with an old English. You're not going to see Bosco on a, with an old English on a fucking dirt bike in the hood, like, uh, talking about, yeah. I'm like, bro, fuck that. I'm going to be on a yacht in San Tropez with my toes out with some cargo shorts on and a wife beater. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not like, <laughs> fuck that street shit. Like, we're trying to get away from that. Niggas that's really come from the streets and really live that life. We like, bro, we trying to get away from that life. Like, we want to get to where y'all at. It's like, y'all get to that life to where you, you get to that point to where we're trying to get to and decide that you want to be back here with us. It's like, Yo, it's that's like, the that's most the, bizarre thing It's fucking ever. bizarre. I swear that's to I just so don't bizarre. understand. Bro, I'm trying to get to where you're at. Like, nigga, you think if you see Bosco's not finna be on TV, like, yeah, this blood's, whoa, I'm not finna do that. Like, I'm not, I don't, people be so shocked at hearing me talk on Vlad because I don't act like, I don't, I don't, when I'm at home or live and my, I'm in my, I'm in my zone. Like, you know what I mean? I'm in my zone and I'm just being me. But when I'm on Vlad TV, this is a bigger platform. I'm, 
I'm being more professional. Like, I'm not finna be the ignorant nigga. Like, I'm at home just clowning. I'm not getting paid for that. Like, that's just me. This is me at home clowning. I'm just doing my thing. Like, I could talk my shit, whatever, say what I say. But I'm not about to come on Vlad and just say anything. It just, you know what I mean? It's just like, this, like, I look at this as work. Like, this is my job. This is, this is my career. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna come on here and be super blood. You know, like, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm just yeah. not gonna do it. It's just, all right. Yo, you know what's crazy? Cause they put out the video and actually, allegedly, the gun was fake. It, it supposedly is a lighter. What, what's your thoughts on that? Like, why though? Why? Like, why? Why? Why with these guns? Like, why? You're a fucking public figure, nigga. You, they look at you as a role model. You're a basketball player, an athlete, a role model, and you're a you're a pillar in the community. Why do this? Why are you doing this? Like, bro, you're supposed to be, nigga, showing better. Like, they look at you as a you're an example of what you know what I mean. You you're an example of what we trying to show, niggas. That will we're trying to show the youth that you can become this one day. Like you're just up there, like, yeah, you can become this and still be this. It's just like, it's just ignorant. Like the the you got all eyes on you, bro, and you in a position of power. And you can't just do certain it's certain shit that just is not acceptable, bro. And it, you gotta think, this is a multi-billion dollar franchise that you work for, bro. Your bosses are billionaires. You're a hundred millionaire. You're a, you know what I mean? You're a millionaire. It's a certain look and a certain, it's a certain way you're supposed to carry yourself. And, and, and you know what I mean? You're an example to millions. Like we have millions invested in you, nigga. Like why the fuck are you want to keep showing guns? Or, you're not even at the shooting range. Like it ain't like, you know what I mean? Go, go do some John Wick shit. You see John Wick training at the shooting range with, Real guns. <laughs> You're not even doing that. You want to be on some gangster shit. Like, you want to be on some Chief Keith. Don't like, yeah, I got my long 30 round clip, nigga. And it's like, bro, that shit is corny as fuck, bro. That shit is corny. Nigga, you a multi millionaire, nigga. What the fuck? That shit is corny as fuck. And I, I don't feel sorry for that nigga either. You get whatever you got coming, nigga. Dumbass. Okay, let's take it to a lighter subject. Gabrielle Union, she did an interview and essentially she was like, yo, in my household, now everybody knows she married to Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade is paid. It ain't, it ain't like she no slack, her, um, no slouch herself. She got some money. She's, she got yeah, some she money. got money. She's a working actress, been working for at least 20 plus years in a game. But that NBA money might be a little different. But she was like, yo, in my household, Everything is 50-50. Internet went crazy. So your man Dwayne Wade, he recently did an um, interview with my man Shannon, Club Shay Shay. And he was like, yeah, she right. And I'm going to quote him because I think what she said is dope. So, so let me quote something that he, he told Shannon. He was like, yo, they was in Miami and... um." He said something to the effect that this was his house that he pays for. And she was like, nah, you will never, ever, ever again tell me that this is your house in a house that I'm living at. So when we move to L.A., everything is 50-50. Is that a gangster move? That's, that's, a, that's a respectable move. That's not, it's not gangster. It's just, that's respect. Like, I don't want, like, see me, like, as a man... You don't never want to live nowhere where somebody could tell you to get out. And True. as a grown ass woman, I wouldn't expect her to either. So we go 50 50. We like, you know what I mean? We share shit. If you pay for this, I'm going to pay for that. Like nobody's, nobody is nobody's boss. You know what I mean? I can't have no broad telling me, oh, well, you need to be, you need to be in here by eight o'clock or, or you getting out of my house. I can't have that as a grown ass man. And I don't want to have no broad that I could tell that to. Because that means she ain't shit. Like, you know what I mean? So if it's 50-50, why 
we're equally the boss and nobody can tell anybody anything. Everything is a compromise. Like it's nobody being able to tell me, oh, well, you're going to pick You're going to sleep on the couch, bitch. No, I'm not sleeping on the couch. Like I, I used to watch that. I remember seeing on TV, like back in the day, you'd be like, you're sleeping on the couch. Bitch, like never. I would never like, bro, like I would never be in no house with no bro that could tell me I got to sleep on the couch. I'm not sleeping on no fucking couch. You sleep on the couch, bitch. Fuck that. Like, I'm not sleeping on no <laughs> fucking couch. Like, so I wouldn't expect no any grown ass woman to want to be in that situation either. So that's like, that's respectable. But see, with Gabrielle Union, she's a nigga in a female's body. She's a man in a female's body, bro. Like, she, the way she, like, I, I think she done violated D Wade. Like, I like that. Like, like, I like D Wade, but like, I think she done like, she feels like she, I think she feels more manly than him. Like if you just look at their hue, like his hue is so pink and hers is so blue, bro. It's just like, she, I feel like she feels more manly than him. Like she acts more like she gives off a more stern energy than he does. Like she's, she's the man in the relationship. <laughs> like she wears the pants. <laughs> like I get, that's just, I'm not saying that's what it is, but watching them, that's the energy that I get. It's like, like she don't respect his, she don't respect his manhood. Like the same way she went on there and basically told everybody she be playing in his butt. Like it's like, bro, like what woman, <laughs> like what woman, like you know what I mean? You basically just went told the, the world that you be playing in this man butt. Like, like what woman does that? Like that's like you know what I mean? That's, it's like, bro, like. She doesn't, I don't think she respects, she doesn't respect his manhood. Like, yo, you got me crying. I forgot all about that. Yeah, like you went, so you don't respect that nigga as a man. Like, she does, he, the way she talks about him, like, that's like a man refers to his broad. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, yeah, I be playing in her butt. Like, oh, yeah, I eat that ass all the time. It's like <laughs> a woman ain't supposed to, like, do all that. Like, you know what I mean? But she doesn't respect your, she doesn't respect your manhood, bro. Like, I don't, I, I see it like, it's like in my mind, like, if I was just somebody, like, if they, they could have been a couple on the street. Nobody, if it wasn't Gabri Gabrielle Union, and just take their names out of it and just, it could have been any other man and woman. She treats you like a bitch. Like, it's like she, it's like she, she's the man. She's the man in the relationship. Like, and she acts that way. And that, that you get that energy watching them. Like, he's so, he's so effeminate. Like, if you like really pay attention to him, he's so like, shy and quiet and he's like too feminine she's like the yeah like she's the man in the relationship bro i swear to god she she wears the pants she wears the pants he wears the skirt like <laughs> well, <laughs> he supported a statement let's put it that way he supported a statement it was like yeah in this household it's 50 50 and he good with it she good with it and we living happily ever after that's cool that's cool but that's because she supports your feminism. That's why, like, I think, like, to me, like, she supports your, fe like, to me, it's a lavender relationship, bro. Honestly, I don't know. Like, you know what they call lavender relationship? It's a lavender relationship to me, like, I. Yo, I never even heard that term before. You said a it's, lavender? It's like Jaden and Will. He, your, like, uh. your husband and wife, y'all married, but you really want to fuck this nigga. He really, he's gay. Like, he's gay, but he's like, it's like, <laughs> bro, it's a lavender relationship, bro. It's like Jada and Will. They just like Jada and Will to me. It's like, she really like, you know what I mean? It's like Steph Curry and Aisha. Like, she really want to get a train ran on her by 10 niggas with BBCs, and then she got this little light-skinned nigga. It's like, it's like, it's like that same kind of, it's like, y'all have this, Y'all have this relationship. It's like Oprah and Stedman. It's like, it's like, y'all have this relationship and it like looks a certain way to the world, but really it's just like, you're just here, bro. It's like, it's like, you know what I mean? It's just, that's the way it seems. It's like, bro, she really, it like, you don't look at, you don't look at them and picture D Wade just hitting her from the back, like, yeah, I'm tearing this <laughs> shit up. Like, do you look at them and just, can you just picture D Wade, like, yeah, I'm tearing this shit up. Yeah, Gab, say my name. I'm tearing this up. Like, I, I just don't. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like, dude, <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, you don't see, like, I can't just, I can't picture D Wade just, yeah, ride my cock, yeah, grabbing that ass, like, yeah, right. it's just, I could picture him doing it though, like, I could, picture, like, I could picture her and your ass with a strap on, like, yeah, bitch, like. <laughs> 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 it's just I just don't see it, bro. It just ain't it just ain't there. Like, <laughs> like bro, do you like kids? This is like Stedman. Like can you picture Stedman just hitting over from the yeah, like pull that hair, like, yeah, let me choke you. Like, yeah, like, like you can't like, you can't picture that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to Choke. You know what I mean? It just is what it is, dying. bro. Like they, they want you to sugarcoat it, but it's no sugar to coat with, bro. This is fucking this is bacon jerky, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god. Uh, All right. Um uh, where the hell we go from here? <laughs> 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 Somebody had to say it, man. Somebody had to say it. All right, yo, did you see the XXL freshman cover? Uh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't. I seen I seen something about Ice Spice not being able to make it to the cover shoot, but I didn't really pay attention to the cover and who was on there and who was on there. Who did they who they threw on there? I mean, they had a lot of dope artists. Lola Brooke made it. Um, Glorilla, she definitely Glorilla she deserved was making it. it. She deserved it. Uh, Finesse two times, too rare. Shout she deserved too it. Rare. He deserved yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, uh, Tia Karen. I don't know, Rob Forty Nine. It was a bunch of them that made it's it. A, it's a lot of people I never heard of, but definitely Finesse. I was checking for Finesse. Finesse. I like Finesse. I I I, I like Finesse two times music. I just feel like it's a lot of bullshit surrounding his. Like you know, you see somebody always getting shot up, and it's just a lot of, it's a lot of negativity on his. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. like he doing cool as a rapper, but I feel like, just like they trying to like, I don't know. It's like a dark cloud. Like I want to say per se, like like a dark cloud over his movement. Like but he dope. He a dope rapper. I like him, but he like. It's like his shows is always getting like the element is like just bad. Like his shows always getting shot, somebody getting shot, and just like that's terrible. That's a bad look, man. Yeah, um, you know what's crazy. Let me get your thoughts on this. Is is homeboy for real or is he just talking reckless? Um, rapper 1090 Jake. When the cover came out, basically he was like, yo, three of these rappers on that XXL cover. Got paperwork on them. Why is you like, bro? Why are you so? Are you a fucking fed or something? Like, why are you so obsessed with niggas' paperwork, bro? That's like so, like, bro. Why are you sitting around so obsessed with niggas' cases and like, bro? You should have been a prosecutor, bro. Like, why are you not a prosecutor or <laughs> why aren't you a federal agent or a fucking like, like you should be like, 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 bro. Like, why are you so like? Like you wanted to be a police so bad, bro. Like, like you type of nigga, like him, whack one hundred, like niggas that be so infatuated with niggas' cases and they court cases. And like, bro, why you ain't got nothing to do with these niggas' court cases? Like, that's all you do is sit back and look into niggas' court cases and see if they was telling before. Like, that's like the weirdest shit. To like, what are you gonna do about it? Like, all right, if somebody did have paperwork, fuck you gonna do about it? Like, what are you going to do? Like, what you going to do? Like, nigga, niggas didn't bring. When niggas brought up snitching and this nigga snitched and that nigga snitched, and it's because niggas was doing something to him. Like, we finna do something. We finna fuck this nigga up, get this nigga out the hood. He finna get the fuck up out of here. What is y'all niggas doing this for? You ain't finna do shit. So you really just like a bitch obsessed with niggas' paperwork. Like, why are you look like obsessed with niggas' paperwork, nigga? Fuck are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? No, I just... I'm just obsessed. I'm just, I get everybody's court cases. Why? Why are you so interested in court cases that you ain't had shit to do with? Fucking weirdo, bro. What are you, like, a fucking, like, like what are you doing? What, what are you doing? What are you, the closer or some shit? The fuck are you, the closer? Like, that shit just don't, <laughs> it just don't make no fucking sense. Like, what are you, like, 
what do you like? What do you always dig? Oh, no, I, I found some paperwork on him. And like, All right, but what are you going to do about it? You looking for paperwork, but you ain't going to do shit. You like a bitch. It's like, bro, shut your bitch on up. You ain't gonna. It's like steady talking shit. It's like, it's like you like go through all this thing. Like, oh, Mayweather ain't the greatest boxer ever. He ain't the, he ain't shit. Mayweather ain't shit. Ooh, he ain't shit. He really look like this fool could whoop his ass. Ooh, like, but all right, well, you get in there and fight him. Uh, well, I I don't want to fight him. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> man, shut your bitch ass up, bro. Like, like, fuck that. And you a white blood anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm a white blood from Boston. That's corny as fuck to me, too. I ain't got a lot. That's corny as shit. Oh, I'm a white blood from Boston, from Massachusetts. That's corny as shit, too. He just corny nigga to me, though. That shit all corny as fuck, bro. You always worried about niggas' paperwork. Then you a fucking white blood from Boston. Like, man, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, like nigga, you supposed to be... Reporting on Whitey Bulger and shit. Why you ain't telling us about Whitey Bulger, nigga? Like, uh, <laughs> tell us about something like that. What's going on in Rhode Island? Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, bro, you just yeah. like a white boy from like you a white blood from Massachusetts, concerned about everybody down south. Like, you ain't even telling us about what about all them snitches that are working for Whitey Bulger and shit. Like, tell us about that. Like, like, quit trying to like worry about real street niggas' cases and shit, bro. Like, fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, but I think it's dangerous, man. Um, if you if you don't have paperwork, like, what? Why even put it out there and, and have niggas looking at these dudes? But even different? if you did have paperwork, why put it out there if you ain't finna do shit? Fuck is you finna yeah. do? Yeah. Like, what are you finna do? You ain't finna do shit. So why are you so obsessed about it and worry about it like you about to do something? It's because you're jealous and you're a hater. You're just jealous of niggas and like, bro, that's for they hood. I don't give a fuck about who's snitching. Uh, anybody that tell me who's snitching is snitching. Like to me, like nigga, you come to me telling me who's snitching is snitching. Like get your weird ass out of here. I don't give a fuck. He ain't snitching on me. It ain't my case. It ain't nothing I got to do with. Like, why do I give a fuck? Like, that's for him and his homies and the niggas that he snitched on to give a fuck about. We don't give. I don't give a fuck about that shit, bro. And yeah. I really could give a fuck less if you ain't finna do shit about it. Fuck is you finna do about it? Nothing. So shut the fuck up, then, bro. Like he just the corniest nigga. That shit corny as fuck to me. Yeah. Um. I guess I guess and here here go the whole clout chasing thing again. We talking about him exactly. You, you know what I'm saying? So so this this is his way get his weight up and, and, Bro, and get niggas following your him. Weight up. You finna get yourself fucking. You are gonna get yourself involved in some shit that you ain't got nothing to do with. That's all you doing. You involving yourself and in shit you ain't got nothing to do with. Now one of these niggas you ain't got no paperwork or something. One of these niggas catch your dumb ass. Yeah, you know what I mean? Do something to your splash your stupid ass or something. Then what? All over some shit you ain't had nothing to do with. Like having an opinion on some shit that you've seen on the internet. That's that's the internet. That's what we do. Like or comment. Like, but you going out of your way to dig up shit and look for people's paperwork and about situations that you ain't got shit to do with and that you ain't finna do shit about is corny as fuck, bro. Fucking corny. Quando mm -hmm. Rondo got locked up about a week or two ago. Matter of fact, I think it was something like Friday, June 16th. Or some Rico charge type shit. Or yeah, something. they got him on two counts of conspiracy. Um, they got him on another count uh, related to, to participating in criminal gang activity. So he's sitting down right now. They, they denied his bond. <laughs> Any thoughts on this? Nigga, they're watching. Bro, they watch. Like, bro, it's no famous gangsters. Like, bro, like, you can't, like, John Gotti, all the fact you can't be no famous gangster. Like, if you're finna be, like, you can be a famous ex-gangster. Like, I see, like, you know what I mean? You can't be a gangster nigga in this street. Like, talk about I'm a real street nigga, you know, this shit, and be doing this like this is not going hand like i could talk about this i could talk about shit from a sp perspective because i've been there i've done it but i'm not still doing it like i but i have like you know what i mean you can't say that i haven't i wasn't you can't can't say i i, I, I never been to prison you can't say I, you know what i mean it's a lot of shit that you can't say but it's all after the fact it's after the fact like i wouldn't be 
I'm not still, Bosco isn't still running around. You know what I mean? I'm not running around with red rags hanging out my pocket and banging on niggas asking, you know what I mean? I'm not doing any of that. I'm not outside selling rocks and like, you know what I mean? If I speak on, oh yeah, you know, we done been in a spot with the homies. It's past tense. Like that shit, I'm not still doing that. Bosco isn't sitting in no dope spot, cooking up no dope and selling rocks. And like, I'm not doing none of that. Like, you know what I mean? So, but, but even if I was, I wouldn't be out here trying to promote that or perpetrate to be that character. Like that's not, that's not the character that I'm that I'm perpetuating. It's like I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to be a real street nigga. I'm trying to be a real entertainer that came from being a street nigga. Like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not an entertainer mm -hmm. trying to show y'all how street I am. I'm a street nigga trying to show y'all how much of an entertainer I am. Like, you know what I mean? It's the difference. But a lot of these dudes is entertainers trying to show people how street you is. That's not going to work. There's not, they're not passing out no checks for being a real street nigga. They not make, you know what I mean? That's not a, that's not a career. Hey, what you do? Yeah, I'm a real street nigga. That's not a fucking <laughs> career. Girl. That's not a career goal, bro. That's not like, you know what I mean? And it's just stupid. Like, man. Like a lot of these dudes, like a lot of these dudes, they get that spotlight put on them and they really feel like you could just live this this lifestyle. You know, like this shit is menace to society or something. Like you think it's just a movie that we watch and rewind and pause and let me watch your part again. Like, bro, this is real life, bro. Like you can't, you think these people not watching you? Like you think these fed, like this is their job. You made their job even more easier than it already was. Like, this is even easier. You think they're not doing their job. What you think they get paid for? They're watching, bro. They watching. They watch everything. They're watching. I don't give a fuck if you, how minuscule you think you are. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm just a nigga that still, I just steal designer glasses out of stores. Like, bro, they're watching everything, bro. Like, I don't care how low level you think you are. They're watching. Everything is being recorded. Everything is seen. Everything is, bro, they're watching. They're watching. No matter how minor you think it is, how minor you think you are, they'll show you real fast that you were way bigger than you thought you were. Like, you know what I mean? You way bigger to them than you are to yourself. Like you think, mm. like you know what I mean? You got your Damn. average, you got your average dope dealer in the hood that think, oh, I'm just selling a couple little little ounces and shit. They not worried about me. I ain't like I'm El Chapo or nothing. Bro, you are El Chapo. To them, in their mind, you just as worse as El Chapo. You just as bad as El Chapo, nigga. They finna get your ass. Any way they could get you, you think they're not. They're clout chasers too. Clout is the drug. Who wouldn't want to be the nigga? It's like, like the prosecutor. Pros Look, we got John Gotti. The prosecutor, they was itching to get John Gotti. Teflon done, like... They're itching to get, they want them big name cases. Oh shit, we got Boosie. Like, oh shit, yeah, we're, we're gonna prosecute Boosie. Yeah, I, I'm the lawyer. Yeah, I'm the prosecutor that sent Boosie to the feds. And like, you know what I mean? They want that shit, bro. They like, you. it's like, y'all just giving them what they want with this internet shit. This internet shit turned a lot of niggas into, they turned, they turned niggas from street niggas to entertainers. Like, you know what I mean? But, a lot of niggas didn't make the transition well. Like they don't, a lot of niggas don't get it. Like they think, oh, I'm famous now. So yeah, I'm gonna be this famous ass street nigga that, you know what I mean? You can't do that, bro. It's like, you have to be that famous ass street nigga that left that life behind. And now you're living this famous, this famous entertainment life, bro. Like you can't be the entertainer living this real street nigga life, but I'm entertained. That's not going to work. It's just not going to work, bro. They're not going to let so it work. Let me ask you, why you think it's so hard for so many of these dudes to just walk away? Like, yo, you made it out the hood. Right now, even as we speak, Quando Rondo, he's sitting down. What's homeboy with the one eye? Um, and, and, and this nigga was, was, was batting a thousand for a thousand. Every song he put out, some homeboy's name. And he doing six years right now. Damn, I forget who. Uh, Fetty Wap. Fetty. Fetty Wap. Wap. There you go. Because like, it's hard to it's hard to turn your back on what made you. Like, see, that's the thing. Like, when you've been doing this, all right, say, say you've been a gang member for the last 
20 years of your life. That was everything, everything of your life been about that. Like, you know what I mean? It been about that. But now, in these last three years, you done blew up and became something else. Now you this big star making money. It's hard to just uproot and be a completely different person. Like, everybody can't just do that. Like, you can't just uproot and say, oh, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? When your whole family was this, all your friends is this, this is the life that you've been living the last 20 years. But the last three just shit started to change for you. But it's hard to just, you can't just walk away and just cut all that shit off. And like, you know what I mean? It's, it's a hard thing. And I'm not mad at nobody, but it's like, when you're, when you get to a level and you get to a certain point, you have to start making them changes, bro. Or they gonna make them changes for you. You yeah. have to do, you have to be a smart enough nigga to know like, I can't keep doing this. I can't do this. Like I, you have to know. It's just knowing right from wrong, bro. And you know, it's certain shit that you can't do. It's certain shit. It's a certain way I gotta move, and it's just that. But it's hard. Not saying it's easy because it's difficult. Like you can't just turn your back on all your family, your friends, and all the things you done did. You been you done dedicated your whole last twenty years of your life to this, and now all of a sudden. Now you just a whole different person. Like it can't, it's hard, bro. But it has to, it's a gradual process that has to be delicately, delicately handled. Like, you know what I mean? It's a process, but it needs to be, it definitely needs to be, pro, it needs to be processed and it has to be processed delicately. It's the way you do it. And what you do is how you do. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Anybody who got love for anybody who got love for you should know they want you to do better and you're doing better in life. You don't gotta come bring your pistol because you come hang with me. Like nigga, it's supposed to be it's niggas out here that got their pistol. That you know what I mean? These niggas got their burners on them. Like, so they don't you don't gotta be the nigga walking around with a yeah, I got my burner on me. Like for what? I got 10 niggas around me that got theirs on them for me, and they willing to shoot a nigga for me, like, cause they know I'm the bag. Like and it's like, you supposed to know that. Like, Boosie, you the bag. So you supposed to have, what the fuck do you need a gun for? What was you going to do, shoot? Like, all right, all right, you had a gun on you. What are you going to do? Like, if something happened, what you going to pull out and start busting? Cameras rolling. Now they got Boosie shooting. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? You got to think further into that. What was you going to do? Some niggas pulled up, a nigga pulled up and tried to rob you for your check. What you going to do? Pull out your gun and shoot, shoot the nigga? And, like, bro, now, like, it's just like, like, bro, that's what you have security for, bro. You have money. Like, nigga, you a nigga that could afford an armed security guard, a couple armed security guard. What do you have to have a gun on you for? You know you're a felon. We had a video shoot. It's cameras rolling. Why the fuck do I got a gun out? Like, I, it's not, I'm not finna have, I'm not finna be the nigga walking around with the gun. But you know what I mean? It's just like, it's just that simple. Yeah, I mean, you're 100% right, man. And, you know, every time you turn on the news, every time you look at social media, it's another entertainer with, with one foot still in the streets. The Y&W Melly case, that trial going on. Like... That shit is so you know. crazy, bro. That's true. That true. I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't, I don't want to see nobody go to jail, but like, that evidence is just looking so crazy to me, bro. I'm looking at this evidence. Everything is just looking crazy. Like, I'm like, bro, that shit, like, I, I just, I don't think he gonna beat it. I honestly, just my honest opinion, I don't, I don't, I done been around too many, too many murderers that fought, you know what I mean? Fought murder cases and lost and like, it's just right not now, looking good speak. to me. Like that shit ain't looking, it ain't looking nothing good. Nothing looking good. Okay. So, so your prediction right here, right now, that is boy he gonna, not going to beat That boy going to jail. Yo, but here's the crazy thing. Like this, this man is in Florida. In Florida, Florida is something different. That that Governor DeSantis, once upon a time, like this is a death penalty case. So this is this is something like it it truly is life and death for this young brother. DeSantis, once upon a time, it was like he, all twelve jurors had to to vote in favor of the death um, penalty. 
in order for you to, to end up on death row. He just switched to law this year. Now, if eight of them 12 jurors vote in favor of the death penalty, it's good. It's good night. Like, like it, it just is what it is. So I don't know, man. I mean, I, I hope you wrong on this one, but then again, if he did it, you I know, mean, I hope I'm wrong too, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm on the outside looking in and I'm just looking at the evidence and the, the case that this prosecutor is presenting and it just ain't looking good, bro. That shit don't look good. Nah, it don't look good. It don't look good at all. Um, you know, his mom, his mom says she had a heart attack. Yeah, I heard that. Due I to the stress. That. Yeah. Yeah. It's a stressful thing. Like, people don't understand. Like, like you got to understand, like, when you out here living that kind of life, it's not only your life that it affects. It affects the life of the people that love you and care about you. It affects the life of the people that love and care about your ops. Like, you know what I mean? It affects a lot of lives. Like, it's not just you and you killing somebody like, you know what I mean? You got to think about your kids, your siblings, your mother, your father. Like it's, it's other people who, who it's people who love and care and support you. And like, you have to keep them in mind too. Like you, it's just like you saying, as soon as Boosie got locked up, he released a statement to the kid, oh, I apologize to my kids and my family. And like, it's yeah, like, yeah. cause it's not just you. You can't just think about you. Like, it's not just about you. It's about, you have people that, that, that have came and grown to depend on you. So your life and your decisions affect other lives and other people's like well being. And like, you know what I mean? You got to really think about that shit, bro. And I'm just saying as a spectator, and somebody who done been through the system and, and, and you know what I mean? Done been involved in the life. That shit looks terrible. That shit ain't looking too good. Like surprisingly, like, you know, he been in good spirits and keeping his poker face on and smiling and you know what I mean? But it's just not looking good. I, I definitely would not want to be in that situation. Like, I wouldn't want to be sitting there. Definitely. Nah, I wouldn't want to be in that situation either. Um, but you know, the, the one thing they didn't present, maybe I missed it. What is the motive? Like, like th these was his boys. It ain't, it ain't they like these are just They some presented ops. a motive. They just said the that they came out and said that he wanted a sack chaser. He sent his girls, so I guess he sent his girls, Melly girlfriend, some dick pics or something. Mm. I heard he sent her some explicit photos and... They said to, I heard they got in a fight like two days prior, like behind this shit. And then they saying, man, like, it, it's just a lot of little shit, bro. But suppose they just presented a motive, like, oh, he sent Melly girl some dick pics. Like, or some shit like oh, that. Oh, like, got yeah. you. Damn. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in that situation. Another situation I wouldn't want to be in, Gunner. Like, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I never fucked with Gunner from the beginning. Like I never like I like I ain't gonna say I don't like him. Like but like not personally. He just was never an appealing artist to me. He was just always always was awkward to me and the way he just was always awkward. I never I never fucked with Gunner. So it, like none of that none of this shit is surprising to me. It's like like I never fucked with Gunner. I don't even like from the beginning. I was like this nigga corny and shit. Like, uh. You know, he he's in a bad position. Obviously, he home. He took that deal. You know, half of the community is saying he's ratted. Matter of fact, Lil Dirk came straight out and was like, yo, gonna rat. Right here on this channel, Tony Ayo, he broke it down and he was like, yo, gonna could have been tricked into taking a plea deal. Because you know a lot of lawyers... That, that's they thing is they just try to get you a plea. So they can win. So, they trying to win that case. Like, so that's it. They try to get you a plea. And I mean, every lawyer trying to get you a plea. Unless it's a big, unless you ain't them big trial lawyers that win trials. But I, like 70% of these lawyers just trying to get you the best plea they can get you. And that's it. Your lawyer comes to you and says, Vlad, I'm going to get you this plea. I'm going to get you out today. Yeah. Vlad is like, what? You want to? You taking showers with niggas watching your back? 
Shower slippers, sh- niggas getting shanked. You know, Fulton County ain't no game. Atlanta's all kind of gangsters yeah. there. From out of town, Mississippi niggas, Brooklyn niggas, Bronx niggas, all kind of niggas from there, six ward niggas, all kind of niggas in the jail, shanks and all that. You trying to get out. I get it. Your lawyer's like, tank this plea today, and you're going to get out. Yeah, I get it. He's not telling you what's on that plea sheet. He's just like, I got a deal. That's your, your lawyer's job. Right. The only part that I was digging in that song is, what the fuck I'm paying all these lawyers for? If I'm paying this lawyer millions of dollars, don't have me on camera looking like that. So what I'm saying is he's saying the DA and his lawyers tricked him, bro. It could be a possibility. Yeah, I mean, Gunner, Gunner essentially was like, yo, I paid millions to my lawyer only to get railroaded. You know, so he feeling like, yo, I got out, but am I really out? Like, can I really walk the streets? But I mean, here's, yo, I'm, I know you don't like Gunner as an artist, but but he just dropped the album, and that album is hard. Like, like he actually, you can go top to, to bottom on that joint. He got some joints. I ain't never heard. I never heard one Gunner joint that I liked. Like I never heard it. Like I've never. Did you check out his new album? No. I you never check che- it out. I never checked out the old album. <laughs> I never checked out. The old- I never. I never heard a song that even made me wanted to check out a Gunner album. Like, I've never heard a song. I was like, oh yeah, this hard. Like let me go listen to Gunner. Like it just, it just never slapped for me. Like you know what I mean? Nothing personal. Just like I just, it just didn't do it for me. Like, yeah, I mean you know it's just crazy, man, because. He he gonna spend the rest of his days trying to defend his name. And he ain't the only one who got out on that deal. But he the one who's targeted, like, yo, you the snitch. Because nobody care about them other niggas. Like, honestly, like, who cares about like nobody knows them niggas. Like, like, you know, in the in the probably like in town and shit, like amongst them, but like Everybody out, everybody don't know all them dudes like that. Like, we don't even know, like, only, only names I could tell you from YL Cell was fucking Gunner, Young Thug, and Duke 60. I couldn't name nobody else. Like, all these other niggas that I'm seeing, I ain't know who the fuck that. I wasn't tuned into them niggas like that. So I couldn't even, you know what I mean? I couldn't tell you who the fuck these niggas was anyway. I wouldn't even, if they said, like, if you asked me another name, like, oh, yeah, what you think about? Another nigga on the case, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even know who the fuck that was. I'd be like, who is that? Like, I don't even know who that is. I'm not tuned into them niggas like that. I fucked with Thugger music. Like, Thugger was cool music wise. I didn't fuck with his style. But, like, musically, he had some dope shit when he first came out and shit. I fucked with Thugger. But Gunner, like, I never fucked with Gunner. Like, his shit, he was always awkward to me. All right, did you hear Young Thug's album? He dropped one too. No. I been stop li- I stopped listening to Thugger shit when he started wearing dresses like all that like Jeffrey and all that <laughs> shit. I stopped listening, but like when he first when Thugger first came out, like all his early shit, I fucked with it. But once he did that dress shit and just got too got too zesty, he got too zesty for me, bro. I just stopped listening. I I wasn't even interested in hearing that shit no more. Oh god. Well, I mean, he he got a bunch of joints with Drake on it. And Drake put a he put a tweet out like, "Yo, you owe me this time," and Thug responded, <laughs> "You will be paid." So I don't know if the check didn't clear yet or what. But, I mean, uh, them they, like once you get to that level, a lot of them do they don't pay for features. Like it's just like you, they know they gonna make their money on the back end. So it's like, all right, I'll go in there do some music with you, but I know this song gonna slap. So I know I'm gonna get paid when I come perform it. Like, you know what I mean? I know I'm gonna come perform, get paid. I know, you know, little residuals or whatever royalties is gonna come. Like, a lot of these dudes just do it as a favor. Like, off the top, like, everybody ain't gotta come with 200,000. Oh, I got 200,000 for a verse, Drake. Like, some people ain't gotta do that. Like, if you, it's just like, the rap game is just like the jury game, bro. It's like these niggas, these niggas wear all this ice and he, oh yeah, I got AP watching. But you don't know what the kind of deal they worked out to get it him. Like, you know what I mean? Yo, average nigga gotta go in there and go pay that full price. Like, you know what I mean? I gotta go in there and pay 200 grand or whatever it costs. Like him, he might have just got a promo deal, but it's all like, you know what I mean? It's all to get you to buy into. It's all, 
like the the like the music the music drives the culture like the rappers the artists it drives the culture because you get the popularity and once I do some shit other people are going to want to do it so if i say oh i went spent $200,000 on this ap watch i yeah 200,000 now yo every nigga oh i want an ap watch too but yeah. you don't know how i got my ap watch like i might got a deal to hey you just up uh, Shoot me a commercial and tag me. You know, every time you post a watch, tag me. And we'll do what we good. All right. But the the next nigga, he don't got that deal. So I really got to go come up with 200000 and try to get this watch. Or like, you know what I mean? And it's just, that's the way of the game, bro. So it's like, honestly, I just think like, bro, as far as, as far as gunner, I mean, he just need to go on and lay in the bed that he made for himself, bro. Like, Gunner, you, nigga, you should have held it down. You should have stayed silent. Like, nigga, you decided to get out of jail. You want to get now? Lay in your bed, nigga. That's what the street, the street's going to call you a wreck. So, nigga, you didn't give a fuck. You got out of jail, nigga. So now just lay in the bed that you made for yourself, nigga. It's like, you know what I mean? You know, speaking of that, academics... He he just sat down with Vlad and um Thugger's brother, Unfork. Academic said, yo, he took the same deal Gunner took. Because Unfunk, right? I think I'm saying his name right, gets violated and he goes to jail for this nine years, his plea paperwork now comes out. All these plea paperworks were some of them were sealed. So oh. so so we get to he said he initialed everything that Gunner said and more. Really? So that's the new thing. People are saying, well, your own brother, he initially says YSL is a gang. He initialed it. I know of multiple crimes that other people did that are in YSL. He initialed right there. He did the same thing. Crazy. And, and, and it ain't like he getting called a snitch. Because they don't care about that nigga. Like, niggas, <laughs> niggas don't care about, like, Gunner is the targeted. Like, you're the target. Like, so it's like, nigga, you was supposed to, all eyes were on you. Them other niggas, nobody cares about. Like, nobody cares about Un Funk. Like, nobody, like, your people know who he is probably, but who really cares? Like, like, Gunner's the, Gunner's the fucking, like, you know what I mean? Gunner is the target. Like, we could, they know that we can get Gunner and we could, like, we control the fuck out of Gunner, but like nobody cares about them other niggas. That's why, like, they don't care about them niggas. Yo, you want to know what's crazy? Unfunk. <laughs> he took the plea, came home, and he just got violated. They locked him up for nine years on a violation. He got caught with a gun. Stupid shit. Is that shit. not insane? Fucking stupid shit. Like, see what I'm saying? Like, niggas just don't learn. Like, so I can't. You can't be, you can't feel sorry for these niggas. I don't feel sympathetic or feel like, I don't feel sorry for that type of shit. I feel sorry for the, for the mother who's getting abused by her fucking husband and this nigga comes home drunk and, you know what I mean? I, I feel sympathetic for that. I don't feel sympathetic for these fucking gangsters and want to be gangsters that want to be gangster and just like, you just got no regards for, you just have no regards for this internet and these polices that's watching. And it's just like, you just don't care. Like niggas is just out here. Like, so you can't feel sorry. You know that, like we got a saying in the streets, like you knew the job was dangerous when you took it. Like, yeah, like, yeah. bro, it was dangerous. Nigga, you took the job though. Like, nigga, it's like, I don't even feel sorry for them fucking, the billionaires in the submarine. I don't feel sorry for them. Like, oh damn, work? No, I have no sympathy for that. Like, no. Why the fuck would you do that? You know, you know what you're about to say is gonna cause like this right here is gonna go and, and people gonna have a lot of opinions on it. I don't care. Like that was stupid. Like dumb. Like, why out of everything you could have did? Like, bro, you're a fucking billionaire. Why y'all wanna go creeping down at the bottom of these oceans and depths where people can't even go or not. We're really not even supposed to be. And then you paid a quarter of a million dollars to do this shit. Like you paid a quarter of a million dollars to go do some dumb shit and it fucking exactly what we thought was going to happen, would happen, happened. 
Like your son was the son was fucking smart. Like he fucking like to me they they tried to ridicule the son. Oh, his son went to Blink where they like, bro. This nigga wanted to go dive down and go see the fucking Titanic. Go watch the movie, nigga. You want to go diving down at the bottom of the ocean and shit and shit. We don't even post the beat. You know the pressure, like they, you know the pressure could squash your shit like a soda can and all this shit. You know this, but no, I got money. I'm a billionaire. I'm gonna go down there and do this, bro. Your son went to the Blink-182 concert. He good, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I went back, <laughs> backstage, like, nigga, went and got some drinks after, like, bro, like, like, I just don't, I don't feel sorry for people that do shit like that, bro. It's just, like, idiotic shit. Like, you, people got all this fucking money, and y'all want to do the dumbest shit. Like, bro, if I'm a billionaire, you think, like, bro, I'm finna be in fucking, bro, Italy, some shit, Greece. Nigga, I'm in Greece on the yacht, bro. Whatever happened to just... Being a billionaire, you got your yacht, grease, some bad bitches with their tits out. Nigga, we got some fucking champagne. We smoking weed. We got some coke. Like, that's normal. <laughs> it's like normal <laughs> rich people shit. Like normal shit. You gonna no, you gotta go above and beyond. No, I'm gonna go in a submarine, a little ass submarine to the depths of the bottom of the sea. And like, but that's just stupid shit to me. It's fucking dumb. Like, fucking dumb. I just don't, I don't, I don't feel bad for shit like that. That's like, feeling bad for the race car driver that crashes and dies. And like, it's like, you know what I mean? He died doing what he wanted to do. Like you died. That's not like you drive these cars at 200 miles an hour, knowing that this shit is a dangerous ass job. And you went to go do it and you crashed and died. Like, you don't, you know, you, you feel a little sympathy, but it's like, not, it's like, bro, you want me to like be, be sad about it? Like, it's like, no, I'm not sad about that shit. Like, Nigga, you chose to do that, bro. You paid to do that. Like, fuck no. I'm not sad about this shit. It's like the person that paid to go jump out of an airplane and they parachute fail. Like, bro, what the fuck are you jumping out of airplane? <laughs> <laughs> fuck are you jumping out of an airplane for? Like, your parachute fail. You're fucking idiot. Like, yeah, like, bro. I wouldn't even have been doing that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you something. I, I couldn't believe how much they was paying. Like a these quarter of a do, million dollars. Like you, and it ain't even like you just saying that number. That's a real number. They was actually paying $250,000, a quarter of a million dollars to go do some, to basically go get crushed in a soda can. Like basically, yeah, like basically that's what you did. You paid to go get crushed in a soda can. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. My heart goes out to him. It really does, man. That was, that to the a, families, that to the families, yes. But I don't feel bad for the people who paid the money. Like I just can't. I, it's, it's like my heart won't let me shed a tear for that. Like, bro, like I can't shed a tear now for the families thinking about families and kids. Like, oh, why did you do that? That's saddening. But like to the to the idiot that paid the money and went through with this shit i just don't i can't feel bad for that like, i can't i can't shed a tear like i can't i can't say i have a tear i have a tear in my heart for that like i don't you know just to give this thing some context in, in that submarine it took 2 hours like 2 hours to get to the bottom that water pressure must have been something like terrible. Like you're not like really think about think think about anything that it takes you two hours to do. So imagine it being so deep, so deep down there that it would take you two hours to get from the surface to the bottom of the sea Bro. to see the Titanic. Your ears is damn near busting in a regular swimming pool. Eight feet, you go down to the bottom of an eight swimming pool it feel like your eardrums about to burst like you feel that like you got to come up and like bro that's only eight feet down it take you two hours to get down there that pressure is like bro we're not supposed to be down there that's why like fuck are we down there for we're land we're mammals we're land mammals like bro we're supposed to be up here fuck is y'all always trying to go explore the depths and space we're fucking earthlings. We're not supposed to be on the fucking moon and on Mars. If it, we were meant to go to Mars, we would have fucking been there. Like, we're not supposed to go to Mars and Pluto and Jupiter. And all. we're not, we we're meant to be here where we are. Women, like women, like, yeah, like 
men were meant to have a dick. Not a woman wasn't meant to have a dick. Like that's why, like that's why you don't have one. Like because he wasn't meant to. It wasn't. You know what I mean? It wasn't for you to have. You wasn't. Put, you got to go buy you one. Yeah, you could go buy you one. But that's why God didn't give you one because it wasn't meant for you to have one. Like yeah, men are supposed to have a nigga, nigga fucking whales and. Fucking octopus is supposed to be down there, not fucking humans. But you just got to go down. I got to go down there and say, like, brother, like, fuck down there. Like, we're not from down there. What the fuck we got to go explore down there for? Like, nah, bro. Fuck that. What do we got to go explore in space for? Like, bro, like that, it's like, bro, we're not from space. Like, why are y'all trying to go explore other worlds? And they always just like, people just try to do too much. You always looking at like, bro, sit your earthling ass on earth. Kick back, enjoy these fucking boats and yachts <laughs> and these bitches and weed and like, you know what I mean? Just chill, bro. Stop trying to look for otherworldly shits and like, bro, it's not for us to be worried about. Like, fuck that shit. Oh, man. Yo. That shit is You bro, a that. wild boy, go. I ain't lying. Like, you a wild boy. <laughs> I'm getting real, bro. When I get enough money, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'm buying me a fucking. Like, I'm not even going out, like, trying to sail the world type shit. I might, like, have me a little boat, and I go out on the water, like, you know what I mean? Just, like, we're not trying to sail, though. I'm not doing no fuck. Oh, yeah, I got a billion dollars. I'm going to sail, though. Well, fuck that. I'm not even doing that weird shit. Like, fuck that shit. Like, nigga, I'm going <laughs> to chill. I might catch me a flight. A little, like, you know what I mean? Costa Rica, a little pina colada, some weed. You know what I mean? A couple little, some nice titties out or something. I'm just keep it normal, bro. I'm keep it. No, I'm not trying to do all this extra. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a trip to space and go land on the moon. And like, I'm not doing all that weird shit, bro. Like, I, people just get. You know what it is to me. I think, yeah, like even Mayweather. Mayweather does some fucking outrage. Right, eighteen million dollar watch. Like, fucking eighteen. Oh yeah, this watch is eighteen million. Stupidest shit ever to me. Like, it's just like. $18 million on a fucking watch? Like, why, bro? Like, it's just like, rich people do the strangest, weirdest shit, bro. It's just like, now, you got an $18 million watch on your wrist. They, do you know, like, it niggas are trying to kill your whole convoy just to get that $18 million watch off your wrist. Like, you got, you probably tough. got five, say you got four security guards, you in the corner. Like, do you know what niggas are do to get $18 million? Or $18 million? It's like, bro, I, shit like that is just like, ignorant to me it's just ignorant and unnecessary like bro fuck an 18 million dollar like, who cares that you pay 18 million oh yeah this watch is 18 million dollars why why would you go spend 18 million dollars on a watch it's fucking stupid like it's just dumb yeah i mean um I, I think floyd got so much he don't even know what to spend his money on no that's more. what i'm saying so if floyd was to get robbed for 18 million dollar watch like would you really feel like Oh, damn, Floyd. Like, would you really have a tear to shed for that? Like, fuck no. Fuck is you walking around with an $18 million watch for anyway? Fucking idiot. Like, it's just stupid shit. It's just dumb. Like, uh. Okay. Um, you know, I should have asked you this earlier. I'm going to circle back to the whole Duggar joint. Your man, Lucci, wife and Lucci. They just offered him a plea deal, 20 years. They wanted him to cooperate against Duggar. He said no. They're like, okay, we're going to offer you the plea deal of 20 years. He turned it down. Now it's going to trial. Is that the setup? Like, it, being no. offered 20 years off the rip, you like, know what, what, what kind of plea deal is that? Bro, you're in a murder case. Your homeboy got killed in your court, and y'all tried to go slide, and your homeboy got killed. That murder is your murder. They know it was your court. They know you was driving. Like, bro, it's not... You're going to jail regardless. That's the thing. He's going to jail regardless. Now, they just want you to basically ruin your whole name. And, oh, snitch on Thugger. And snitch on snitch on Thugger for what? Nigga, you was beefing with. How can you snitch on Thugger? You can't snitch on Thugger about shit. Nigga, y'all niggas was beefing. Y'all was at war. Thugger was doing his shit. You was doing your shit. You just got caught up, nigga. Now, you got to do that time, my nigga. It's just, that's, that's just the, that's the street shit, bro. You niggas wanted to be gangster. This is what comes with being gangster. All that gangster shit, yeah. I, if I didn't spend the last 12 months, 24 months with nothing, no. Yeah, nigga, that gangster shit. You wanted to be gangster. So, bro, this is what the gangster life has for you, bro. So I just hope the other niggas that haven't made any mistakes yet and the youngsters that's looking up to this shit, like, bro, 
This is what comes with this shit. This is the end result. It's no retirement gold watch. Oh yeah, Bosco. Yeah, we got a gold watch for you. And it's no, it's no, it's no perks and no, it's no retirement plan. You get no 401k. It's nothing. It's nothing that comes with this shit, but jail and heartache, bro. You're going to lose friends. You're going to lose family. You're going to lose bitches. You're going to lose your fucking freedom, bro. It's nothing else that comes with this shit. Uh, when, when niggas going to like, when I don't understand like what other prize do people expect that they gonna receive from this shit? It's like, bro, that's all you got to get. So it's either you say fuck this shit and stay the fuck up out the streets, or you just take it like a man on the chin, nigga, and deal with what come with this shit. And that's just it. Yeah, I don't know when when dudes is really gonna learn. Like, you you don't watch this movie fifty million times. You know how this thing ends. It, it ain't even like, like, it's a surprise ending to this movie. You don't watch it. You know how it ends. Yeah, so. It's still, dudes get caught up in these situations and, and they got to make a choice. Either I got to sit down for 20 years, I got to snitch, and, 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 and nobody going to mess with me after that. Like, I, I just don't understand it. It's just, these niggas like, bro, it's just... It's hard, it's hard to walk away. It's hard to just turn your back and be a brand new person. Like, you know what I mean? When you've been a certain way your whole life, when your whole, basically your whole, a better part of your life has been dedicated to, to being a certain way, it's hard for, it's just like they say, you ever heard you can't make a whole housewife. If this bitch been sucking cock, at the drop of a dime for like a better part since she was fucking teenager, like, you know what I mean? And she's like grown into an adult and she's still been doing the same shit. Like, you think at 50, now all of a sudden she's just like, oh, well, okay, I, I, like, no, you have to uh, date me for 90 days before. Like, no, it's like, like bro, like <laughs> once a hoe, always a hoe. Like, bro, you might, you might have a little more morals about yourself, but if a nigga got some money, if I got 10,000 right now to get some throat right now, like you gonna come get this 10,000 cause once a hoe is always a hoe. It's just like, it's the same thing. It's like these street niggas, it's like, bro, once you in that life and your whole life has been about that and everybody that surrounds you, life is about that. It's hard to just walk away or turn your back and just be a different person all of a sudden. It's hard to do that. So a lot of niggas just get caught back up in that same, you know what I mean? You just get caught back up in this. It's like you made it out the washing machine and you stepped over to the dryer, but like you over here drawing, it's like, damn, all your people still over there in the washing machine. Some point you gonna wanna get wet again. Like, fuck it, all right, let me get back in the like, You know what I mean? Let me get <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. It don't make sense, but it's just, it's the life. It's the life. I don't know what's going on in Atlanta. Jacquees, singer, he just got locked up. You heard anything about like his whole I seen a mug, mug shot, shot going viral? I seen a mug shot with a little busted lip. Uh, well, I didn't really like dig into it deep. I seen a little busted lip, little mug shot. He was looking a little, it looked like that's that potter. I ain't gonna lie, he like, looked like a little, <laughs> <laughs> like, looked like he was off some drugs or something, man. Like it was a rough night. But what happened with that? Nah, he got charged with um misdemeanor, misdemeanor with a misdemeanor and um simple battery, plus a misdemeanor charge and willful obstruction of law, um against law officers, or something to that effect. I Somebody don't. whooped his ass though, so he got his ass whooped. <laughs> Whatever happened, you got your ass whooped. I know that. Oh god, I like Jacquees too. I like his music. He got some dope. He got some dope little music though. I, I fuck with him. A couple of my little. Couple of my little walls, guys, they like they like listening to Jacquees. You know what I mean? But yeah, whatever happened, you definitely got your ass whooped for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> nah, they, I mean it's it, it said he he had willful obstruction of law against law enforcement officers. So maybe it was the cops. I don't know. Um, uh, but but he posted bail. He he bonded out for something like forty dollars. So so he was in and out. It was some smoker shit. I, we call that wino crimes. Like that's like a wino <laughs> crime. 
Like, you know, like the, the nigga on the store, they just keep begging people for change. We told you to leave, you don't want to leave now. So now we take you to jail for trespassing. It's like wine yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Like that wine up shit. Like. All right. Uh, matter of fact, me and you could have talked about this the last time we sat down. I don't remember. Um, New York podcaster, Tax Stone. He just got sentenced. About? Tax Stone. Oh, um, yeah, I seen that, man. Yeah, 35 joints. Honestly, like, bro, honestly, that nigga, bro, like, bro, you talked on it, like, Tax Stone, that, that, that nigga was fucking, bro, you was a clown for that, too, bro. That was some clown shit, because you talked all that shit, try, he was trolling the shit out of Troy Ave. You started that whole Troy Ave shit. Troy Ave wasn't even thinking of, Tax Stone, like, you talked all that shit, and, all this tough guy shit. This is what I don't get. Like, why you can't take a fade? Like, you were, that's this is why I started fighting and being like one of the first niggas like, fuck that, we gotta fight. We gonna take these fights because all these niggas do all this shit talking on the internet, but they scared to fight. Like, what do you want? Like, what do you want? Like, you like, you troll niggas all day. Like, I don't even know you from, I don't know. I got trolls all day. Like, I don't even know you. Bam. You find me on the internet and decide to become obsessed with me and start trolling me and watching and commenting on everything I do. So now I'm out. I catch you somewhere and I put them things on you. Like, bro, why do you have to pull out a gun? You've been talking all this shit. You want to fight. Like, 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 I'm thinking you want to fight. Let's fight, nigga. You talk. What is the end result? What do you just want to talk shit? Until like like I don't know, like what is the result on it? Like people dedicate like it's people with their whole platform dedicated to only talking about Bosco. Like it's like that's all they do is talk about me. So when I that's catch crazy. you, if I catch you out in the street and I punch you in your fucking face, fight, nigga. Why why would you pull out a gun to kill me? Like that's that was your end result. Like so you did all of this just to kill some like it's this. It's fucking stupid. That shit was dumb. Like, you were talking all that shit. You ran into the nigga, and you, first thing you do is pull out a gun and try to shoot somebody. Like, bro, we came to beat your ass. You were talking shit. We came to throw them hands. Guns down, gloves up. Nigga, we came to throw them hands. But these niggas just like, I don't understand. Like, what do you like? It was a situation the other night. One of my homeboys just got shot in the fucking face. Like, for what? Like, for what? Like, if you had a problem, why is the first thing a nigga think of is to pull his gun and like, like what happened to hands? Like what happened to the squabble? Like niggas like niggas is like want to talk shit, but don't want to get punched in their fucking face. You can't be, you can't be not afraid to talk shit, but then be scared to get punched in your fucking face. Like it just it don't make sense, bro. This shit is done. Yeah. I mean, um, yo, but 35 years, son. I mean, for a murder, tax that's don't, good. Tax don't. That's good. New York is fucking like, I don't understand. New York never gives nobody life. New York don't give no, nobody no, life. No. You do not get life. For, in Cali, you get life. Like, Cali is life. 35 life. Like, in New York, they don't give nobody life for murder. You got to kill, like, three people to get fucking life for murder. <laughs> like, like, you know, they don't give nobody life. I noticed that. Like, New York, nah, they always get uh -uh. 20 years, 30 years. They don't never get life. Like, in California, he would have been life. That nigga had life in prison right now. But needless to say, he said he's going to be appealing. But, I mean, right now, tax on something like 37 years old. If he got to do this, even with it's good time, rap. he looking at getting out at 70. It's a wrap, bro. You ain't getting up, nigga. Niggas ain't even living that long, especially if you been smoking weed and <laughs> smoking. That. Niggas ain't living that long. Niggas ain't living till 70 like that, bro. Like, this day and age of niggas, like, this, like, these niggas ain't living till 70, nigga. That's why they raise, you see, they raise fucking Social Security to 67. Like, hold on, 65 was too low. Like, hold on, two more years. That nigga died by 66. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, like, bro, niggas ain't living till 70, bro. Like, you ain't like, bro, that's a rap. That shit is a rap. Another New York rapper, Casanova. Rap. It's a rap. You know. And they cut his face. And they just got buck 50. That's, see, he finna have a hard time. Feel like, I, I kind of feel bad. Like, they did him wrong. Like, cause they talking about he denounced, he denounced his affiliation to the judge. So niggas cut him in prison. Why would y'all, why would, 
Why, like, bro, why, who the fuck, like, who walks into court and tell the judge, like, fuck you, judge, I'm a gangster for life. This going to be, like, that's like the stupidest shit. So I don't understand. Well, well, they said he denounced it. He said they, they said he denounced being part of the Gorilla Stone Nation. To the judge. To the judge. Correct. So I, like, who supposed to tell the judge the truth? Like, who tells the, <laughs> since when did real niggas start going into court telling the <laughs> truth and telling the police the truth? Like, it don't make no sense. But whatever, that's New York shit. Like, you know what I mean? That's y'all shit. Like, uh, you know, y'all got y'all different. You know what I mean? But since when did niggas supposed to start walking into the courtroom and telling the truth? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's real talk, kid. Bro. Nah, shout to my man Casanova, man. But definitely, um, yeah, man. I hope he, you know. I hope he all right. That's a long time to deal. But I don't see like honestly. Uh, I'm just waiting. I'm honestly, I'm sitting back waiting to see Swaggy Jazzy take that two. But I'm gonna see how long it take for her to take that two times off her shit. Mm. The Swaggy Jazzy two times yeah. girl. Yeah, I'm gonna see yeah. how long it take for that. Swaggy Jazzy two times to just get turned to Swaggy Jazzy. Like, we're going to see. <laughs> That's what I'm watching. I'm watching that. I'm watching. You watching that close? Yeah, I'm watching close, man. Let's see how long it take for that two time to come off of the air. Like, we're going to see. <laughs> yeah, shout to my boy Cassin over two times, man. Yeah, no, I fuck with Cass, though. I fuck, I fuck with Cass. We hollered. I had, we had, like, a little back and forth for a little second, like, and we hollered on the phone. One of my mans ran into him. Down in the jury dish, and we hollered on the FaceTime and shit. It was cool, but I'm just saying, bro, like this situation, nigga, this shit ain't, you know what I mean? That shit ain't and looking That's another too case. Good. It's another case where the feds just sat back yeah. and built all this evidence around social media. Another so, one. the only thing I gotta say about that is I'm closely watching to see how long it's gonna take Swaggy Jazzy to drop that two time, <laughs> to drop that two time off her name. We're gonna see. But we, 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 when it happened, we gonna have to have that discussion. We gonna have to, bro. Say you I said, called remember it. I said it's called the first thing to say. I'm watching. Yeah, you I'm, called it. I'm watching. Jonathan Majors, the actor. Bro, that this nigga. dude. Bro, okay. Just just to bring everybody up to speed. He he, right now dealing with a domestic charge. His ex, I don't even, I'm not even sure if this was his like girl, girl. It was a chick he was dealing with. She said that she, he slapped her up in the back of a taxi. Everything points to the contrary, including the taxi driver saying, nah, they didn't go down. But now he going to trial. And it looked like, yo, this was one of the hottest dudes in Hollywood. This dude just was in Creed 3. Had He's in the Marvel movies. Yeah. I heard they removed him. They took him out the Marvel movie. I hope not. I hope not. Because it ain't even proven. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, But they, you see how... But see, you see this bullshit cancel culture and how quick... People don't even know the full story, but they're like, oh, he's canceled. And immediately, people just start snatching away from you and everything is just that fast. So corny, bro. It's like this... Everybody, oh yeah, he's hot and all of a sudden, oh yeah, his new bod and yeah, and then all of a sudden, oh, they said, oh no, yeah, we can't work with him and we can't, like, bro, did y'all even, like, he's not even, what happens to innocent till proven guilty? It's like, as soon as somebody say something about you, it's just, you're automatically, oh yeah, you're automatically guilty, he's canceled, yeah, we gotta take him out the movie and, oh yeah, we're, it's just like, I, I, I'm starting to hate Hollywood, bro, I just like, I this Hollywood shit is just like, so like, it's like disgusting, bro. Like it's like like it's just like people just like it's so easy to let some nobody motherfucker who ain't got nothing to do with nothing just shut your whole program down. Like somebody yeah. that don't got shit to do with shit that's really going on could just like, oh no, we don't like him anymore. Oh, okay, well, we don't like him either. Like it's just like, bro, like it's no loyalty in this shit. It's no nothing. It's just like if they say you're guilty, you did what you say. Whatever they say you did, you did it. Like, it don't matter if you're guilty or not. What the other side of the story is, it's just, all right, well, they said you did this, so we can't fuck with you no more. Because they said you, just because they said it. 
Yo, is that not the craziest thing on the planet? It's pl fucking disgusting. You, you can have an accusation. It's disgusting. No, no evidence, no proof. No, nothing. It's just disgusting. It's disgusting. I hate that shit. I hate it. Yo, okay, so let me ask you. That dude was fish grease hot. Like, like he was he was on fire hot. Do do you think he's still one of the hottest actors in Hollywood, or is is it is it a rap for him? I didn't think he was that good of an actor. Like honestly, like I didn't think he, <laughs> I didn't think he was that all that good of an actor. Like to me, I was like I was watching this shit. Like he, he was cool in the uh, Creed for the role he played. He was cool, but he wasn't that hot of an actor to me. Like. I don't, well, put it like like this for Holly, because you know Hollywood, they handpick black actors every every now and then. They they pick a new one. He was the new hot dude. Um, it, 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 he had the right body for Creed for sure, but he also, I mean, Marvel is Marvel. Did this dude sign the contract to be the villain across damn near the whole Marvel universe, King? So you was gonna see him in the Avengers. He was in Ant Man and the what? Like, yeah, like that he was big. stretched across. Yeah, he he was the new villain. I, was, so by Hollywood standards, he was he was fish grease hot. Yeah, he fucked up though. But we don't even know what happened though. We don't know the true story whether it's true. We don't. Nobody even cared about his side of this. I've never, I still haven't even heard his side. All I heard was allegations and they just took everything away. Like, oh yeah, he's, but it's like, damn, when are we going to at least hear his side of the story? Where his side of the story at? Like he was hot, but it was like, he wasn't that dope of an actor to me. Like I was like, <laughs> like his acting wasn't just like, like, like he wasn't like a, just compared like, oh my God, like he's so good in this movie. Like it was, it was like he was tight. Cree was like a typecast to me. It wasn't just like, oh, he was just mind blowing. He was just like, he just could fit the role. Nigga been to prison and come out, got his size up. I want to scrub it. It just was a typecast to me. That didn't make him like a hot ass actor to me. Like, like he ain't no Denzel to me or fucking Idris Elba yet. He ain't got there yet. Like I haven't seen, I haven't seen enough from him to feel like. Oh yeah, he was a dope actor. Like he wasn't he wasn't there yet. Like Creed was it was cool. Like it was it was a typecast role. He he fit that role. Like it was like, all right, you cool on this. But I needed to see more from him to see to really judge how good of an actor he was. Like, you know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to see a little bit more. Okay. Um allegedly he dating make it good. So he went from being allegedly um, the one who slapped his ex to now he's holding hands with Megan Good. Matter of fact, she she went with him to court. Like, really? so, Innocent till proven guilty. What happened to like, I'm supporting, I'm standing by my man. He he didn't do these things that you say he did. Like, what happened to that? Like, it's just like everybody's so quick to condemn you. Like, you know what I mean? That's fucked up. Your man, Tory Lanez, <laughs> his retrial just recently got denied. He's going to be sentenced August 7th. And he's facing, I think it's a maximum of 22 years. Um, the prosecutor suggesting 13, but the minimum he Ten. can get is nine. Oh, nine, yeah. Yeah, the minimum he can get is nine. How you think this is going to play out for him? Ten years. Damn. Ten so you years. think they're going to hit him with a 10 piece? Hell yeah. You can't just shoot people. Like, what make you think you can just shoot? Because you rich and you're a celebrity, <laughs> you can just shoot people. Like, bro, you shot that bitch. Like, why do you? Another situation. This is a fucking nigga. You supposed to be having a threesome. Nigga, you, 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 man, you trying to, you a nigga, you trying to get a threesome bragging. It wasn't popping. Shit went raw. All right, go drop her off at home. Like, how you end up pulling out a firearm and shooting somebody? Over some pussy or threesome going. This is a threesome going wrong, basically. Like basically, like this is a fucking, <laughs> this is a fucking threesome going wrong. Like you try to get it popping, it wasn't popping. She tripping. All right, let me go drop you off at home. Go how it turn into a fucking how a threesome turn into a assault with a deadly weapon. 
Like, bro, yeah. a fucking a fucking attempted murder. Like, he lucky that he hit him with attempted murder. Like, you shot him in fist, so, all right, what you got, assault with a deadly weapon? How do you let a fucking failed threesome turn into that? Fucking idiot. Another idiot, bro. I don't like, bro, that shit was goofy shit. You trying to play gangster so bad. It's bit, These are females you dealing with. You dealing with two broads fighting. Fuck are you pulling out a gun for? Where did the gun yeah. come? Where, where did the necessity for a firearm come into play during a, a threesome going wrong? This fucking just idiot. It, I don't feel sorry for. I don't feel sorry. I don't feel sorry. I just. I can't feel bad. Like I. Yeah, like I fucked with his music heavy. Don't get me wrong, but I don't feel sorry for your stupid ass actions, bro. That was some dumbass idiot shit. And I don't like nigga. You gotta deal with what's coming with it, nigga. Just like any other gangster, you want it to be gangster. Like so, any other gangster gonna have to deal with that shit. You gotta deal with what came with that wanting to be gangster, nigga. Oh, yeah, what you thought this was a movie dance, bitch? Dancing like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck you thought this was Harlem Nights or something? Like yeah, yeah, fuck out of here, bro. Take your ass to jail, nigga. You dumbass, like bro. <laughs> like bro it just is what it is bro like certain shit you just can't feel sorry for I can't feel sorry for that shit that was retarded like you know what I mean bro I done got into it with and like I never thought to pull no gun on the feet oh let me pull my gun and this stupid shit bro like that's just something you gonna have to live with bro you made a stupid ass decision and now you gotta live with it bro that's it yeah, I mean, um, I, I would never understand my word to everything I love. I never understand. I mean, these dudes is multimillionaires. Like, like, why are you? I he's a be multimillionaire. A She's a multimillionaire. It's like, yo, is you serious? Everybody want to be old dog. Like, everybody want to be fucking doughboy. Nobody wanted to be Furious Styles. Like, you know, you see boys in the hood. <laughs> Nobody wanted to be the pops and Furious Style. Everybody wanted to be doughboy and. Like, bro, like, nigga, I I, I want to be Furious Styles. So I'm trying to be like, you know what I mean? Like, you watch Scarface, nobody wanted to be Sosa. Everybody wanted to be Scarface, and nobody wanted to be Frank or Sosa. Like, nigga, I wanted to be like Sosa. Nigga, I've seen Scarface was cool, but, nigga, I wanted to be like Sosa, nigga. I'm like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That's real talk. Nigga, That's everybody, talk. everybody always want to be Tony. Everybody want to, nigga, what about Sosa, nigga? I was just shit, nigga. It's yeah, but crazy. I'm, I'm going to tell you, uh, you said Furious Styles. I bet you that go over a lot of people's heads. Yeah. Like right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Real talk. Only 80 babies going to know that one. Yeah, man. But that's that's true. It's like, yo, like how how these people fight? Like real talk, if, if, if I'm locked up right now over something like that, do you understand how pissed I am just to look in the mirror? Like how did I even find, like I'm... I'm touring not state to state. I'm country to country. Country to country. One like, of the biggest artists. Nigga, I'm you got private jetting it. I'm I'm eating at the best restaurants. Features. I'm staying at the Four Seasons. You got features with Drake. Nigga, you sitting there with a fucking, you at Kylie Jenner house and Kylie Jenner. You at Kylie Jenner and fucking Meg the Stallion in a fucking jacuzzi in the hot tub, bro. Like, how, like, like bro, how you go from that to trying to be old dog. Like, now you trying to be fucking like, bro, it's just like, I just don't understand these niggas with money, bro. Like, these niggas get money and want to be street so bad. Like, you want, you you wait, you went your whole life, you clearly wasn't that because the shit that you, you niggas be doing, if y'all was really in the streets and like that, th this shit wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a thing. Like, it, like so you clearly wasn't that kind of nigga. Why all of a sudden where you get rich, do you decide out of everything that you can be now, you decide to come back and be this? It just like, like I can't for the life of me understand it. And I will never like you always be an idiot to me. I can't never like it's going to be idiotic shit. And I, I can't I can't concur with you on that. Like I can't. Well, again, he's another one. I wish the best, man. I mean, um. Like t sitting down for ten years in the prime of your career, man. Like, like I know, I know if he had it to do all over again, man. Like he would have made same some shit. better decisions. He would have did the same shit because he wanted to be gangster so bad. Like I, I just seen, I seen him like certain little shit. Like he had a little, 
little situation with Travis Scott. He's like, oh, yeah, let's me and you take a fade. And you could tell he just want to be gangster so bad. Everything like, bro, you're from Canada, bro. You little big head 5'3 nigga from Canada, bro. Like, ain't no, like, bro, we're not looking at you like you're a gangster, bro. Like, we not, some niggas just want that kind of recognition so bad. Like, they want people to see them as, it's like, bro, we'll never look at you like that. Like, you did that, and we still don't look at you like, oh, that was some gangster shit. Uh, oh, he was gangster. That shit was some clown shit. Like, so you didn't, all you did was throw your whole fucking career and life away for some bullshit to prove a point. For nothing. That, to for prove nothing. a point that wasn't even proven. Like, what are you trying to show up that you was gangster? That wasn't no gangster shit. You shot a bitch in her foot. Like, that wasn't no gangster shit. Like, what the fuck was so gangster about that? You still didn't prove no point. So it was just like, it was all for nothing, bro. It was all for nothing. Nigga. YK Osiris. Did you catch him trying to, uh, you know, th this thing went He's viral. He's another weirdo. Weird as he, fuck, he, bro. He tried to, let me, let me just set the stage for anybody who's not up on this. He, he was standing behind uh, Sukiana, bent over, like, like legit bent over and tried to kiss this woman in her mouth. Clearly, her body language and everything else was like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Then he did it again. Why are you doing Because he think he's so, he thought that was, I think he thought that was French Montana. That's what it was. He thought that was French Montana. He was massaging on, and he tried to kill, like, <laughs> he, 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 like, mistake. I think he got the story, but he, like, in his mind, he thought that was French Montana for a second. And he just like, like he had to come to realize that. So like, if this is Sukiana, like, like that nigga, bro. Like he, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That that dude is another weirdo to me, bro. Like YK Osiris, he always been, as from the time I've been watching him and paying attention, weirdo. Like just to me, this is just my opinion, weirdo. And just, I seen that whole little, you like the typical not light skinned nigga that think you could fuck every bitch you see. Like every bitch we bring around, you think they all just want you. And like, I seen it in his whole body language and his whole little, like, you just, you just trying to get too sexy, bro. Like you was on your, you was up there on your LL Cool J shit, my nigga. You, you know what I mean? You licking your lips and you, you just, you, you just, you got caught up in the moment, my nigga. And it just, you finna get what you deserve too. Like, nigga, like, it was just stupid. Why would you do that, bro? They were unprofessional and it was stupid as a motherfucker. And you looked at goofy as fuck doing that shit. Like, looked at goofy as fuck. Yeah, it was definitely a bad look for him. I mean, she, she, she handled it gracefully. I give it to her. Um, cause she coulda, she coulda in the moment had this dude looking crazy. Yeah. And, and and she handled it with class, so shout to Sukiana. And and he apologized. Actually he apologized twice and she accepted his apology. Yeah, but it's like it's it's like you put yourself out there as such the worst ratchet in the world though. So how could you expect niggas to show you more respect? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, it's only like, I can't respect the bitch that talk like you. Like, just your whole persona is fucking just fucking ratchet. Like, it's just like a fucking ratchet. So why, like, I can't even, I can't, like, I wouldn't do no stupid shit like that. But I'm just saying, I can't even, like, be mad at him for even trying it. Like, you know what I mean? Listen to the shit you talk. Listen to how you talk and how you put yourself out there. So... Are you like, is this like, I don't say I'm not, I'm what I'm saying is I can't be surprised. I can't, he doesn't surprise me. Mate, like, bro, look at the shit you talk. Like, look how you put yourself out there. Like, it's not that anyone's supposed to be violated in any kind of way, but when you put yourself out there like that, you open yourself up to a certain type of, you open yourself up to a certain type of attention. And it's just like, you can't even be surprised. Like, how are you surprised at the attention that you're getting or the way these do? Look at the way you talk, the way you present yourself like you're a fucking nothing trashy ass rat bitch. So, like, of course, like, why do you expect the negative? You expect these niggas to be under your picture. Oh, good morning, queen. Grand rising queen. <laughs> like, like, fuck that. Like, <laughs> Like, if you talk about eating ass and sucking dick all day and getting your put, you think I'm finna be <laughs> under your close grand rise when I meet you? Ooh, Sukiana, grand rising queen. Good morning. Like, fuck that. Like, what's up, bitch? I'm trying to get mine. <laughs> like, bitch, what's up, man? You trying to suck some dick? Like, it's just like, you know what I mean? That's just the energy. 
that's the energy you put out. So you can't be mad at the energy that you getting back. Like, it's like carry yourself with some class and more respectable and motherfuckers are respect you more. Like, all you talk about is eating, I eat ass, eat a nigga ass, you suck a nigga dick. Yeah. Man, I want my dick sucked too. I don't want my ass ate, but shit, I, I want my dick sucked. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Oh. All right, um, hey, yo, yo, <laughs> yo Bosco. I was going to say, you, you talk about this dude. shit all day, all day. Oh, I eat a nigga ass. My put like what's the other bitch? My my what you say? My pussy pink, but my booty hole brown. Of course, I want to uh, see your asshole now. Like you talk about your pussy, <laughs> uh, so now I want to see her. Of course, like I want to see how pink the pussy is, and how you know, I want to see if that booty hole discolored. Like I want to see the discoloration in that ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shit, let me see. Oh, God. Yo, <laughs> you got me crying today. All right, yo, let me. All right, let me just get it together, man. Um, all right, Fat Joe. That nigga beard. That nigga beard is annoying. Right? <laughs> that nigga beard. Like, bro, that nigga Fat Joe beard look like Tory Lane's hairline. Like, she just look like. I just don't <laughs> trust that beard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Fat Joe, my brother, man. We, no, we, I we, fuck we with Joe. No, I fuck with Joe. Joe. I've always been a Joe Joey fan, but it's just, I don't know, like, it's just like this beard is weird. Like, the beard, I just don't fuck with this beard. I be like, Joe, like, shave that shit, Joe. Like, cut that shit, Joe. The fucking beard just don't. That shit look like Tory Lane's head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the BX. You know, shout, shout out to, out to Joe man. and the BX. Don't no, fuck Joey with Joe. Crack, fuck man. With Joe. Oh, good. All right. Uh, Joey Crack, he's, he he gave the baby credit. He said, he, yo, he wanted a few brothers that ever made a comeback from being canceled. Do you think the baby was canceled, number one? And and um, does Joe I got... Mean, I ain't seen the comeback yet, but I mean, I ain't even seen the comeback. I ain't seen him doing that. I mean, he made like a... I heard, I heard he did. Matter of fact, I heard like some regular ass tow truck driver is the reason why he making a comeback. Like some tow truck driver did like a, a Instagram video. Like he was like repoing cars or some shit. And that's what really got him blew back up. Like it, it wasn't even like him. Nah, he got one of the hottest records out there right now. Yeah, but the tow truck driver, the repo man made it hot though. That's who made it hot. It got hot like, oh, some TikTok shit. Like, it wasn't even just, like, him. It was just, like, this tow truck driver. He always towing the cars to the song, and it, like, blew it up on TikTok. So that's, like, kind of, like, oh, through. I ain't even hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so so you 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 not sure that he's uncanceled? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, is that's that, what I'm saying. What I'm, saying? Not, I'm not sure that he uncanceled, but, you know, I, I did Do see Do you think him. he was canceled in the first place, though? I mean, I, like, clearly, like, they was, you see, they, they, he lost some money. He for sure lost some. I don't, like, canceling, cancel don't mean shit to me, but a loss of money. Like, that's all, when people say, oh, he's canceled, that nigga lost some money. He finna lose some money. Like, that's all that means to me. I don't know what the, canceled, like, what? Like, canceled, like, like, who the fuck are you people? Like, who are you people to cancel? Any, like, who are you? Like, fuck you anyway. Like, who are you? Oh, I cancel you. Fuck you. Who are you? Like, who the fuck are you? Like, who? who who was the cancel committee? Like who was like who were the actual like <laughs> who the fuck is the cancel committee? Like the fuck is that? Like, you're canceled. Who said it? Like oh he's canceled. He's like, who? Who said that? Who's the like leader of the committee? Where's the board? The board of the board of cancellation? Like who the fuck is these people? Who are they? Where, like, where are they? Like canceled by who? Like this shit is like ridiculous. Fucking cancel cancel culture. Who the fuck is cancel culture? Who are like, who is the board of chairman? Who's the CEO, the vice president? Like, who's the fucking secretary of this cancel committee? Like, we're like, who can we talk to? Like, who who the fuck is it? Like, bro. Yo, you, you, speaking of billionaires, we talked about this earlier, these billionaires being on a yacht somewhere, what they should be doing. Two of the most, I, I, I don't know, wealthy men on planet Earth. Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. 
Mark Zuckerberg, he practices Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And Elon Musk practices karate, taekwondo, and judo. Looks like they're going to have a cage match. Uh, I was just going to say, they need to have a celebrity fucking fight. That should be lit. Fucking lit. Okay, who you got? If if this thing go down, who you got? I got Elon Musk. You, you do realize Elon like 49 years old or something like that. Zuckerberg is in his 30s. That don't mean age ain't got nothing to do with shit. Like age, it's the squabble. Like it don't mean just because you younger don't mean you can fight better. Like I could knock you the fuck out. Like, like you know what I mean? Like just because just because you're older, like like you're old and strong. Like so you, you got your grown man strength. Like like. I don't know, Mike. Mike Zuckerberg, what's his name? Zuckerberg. He don't. He don't strike me as a man. Yeah, nah. I got Elon. Okay, so so so, right now, let me give you the tail of the tape. Mark Zuckerberg, thirty nine years old. Elon is actually fifty one. Zuckerberg is five foot seven. Elon is six foot one. Zuckerberg does Brazilian Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Elon, karate, taekwondo, and judo. Elon clearly, I mean, and, and let me go one more thing. If I don't know if this play a factor or not, but I'll throw it out there. Zuckerberg worth a hundred billion. Elon worth two hundred and forty-five point nine billion. Still got your money on Elon? Yes, ain't got nothing to do with money. <laughs> It ain't got nothing to do with age. It got to do like, it ain't money. It ain't age. Like, I just don't see Zuckerberg doing shit. I just don't see it. Like, I see Elon choking his ass out like or something. Like, you know what I mean? Getting him in a cool little, I don't see no knockout, no like, you know what I mean? But I see, I can see Elon getting him in a cool little submission hold and, you know what I mean? Getting a little submission or choking him out or something. Like, yeah, I, I could see it. I don't see Zuckerberg choking out shit, though. I just don't see it. Like, sorry, <laughs> I have no faith in you, Zuckerberg. I have no faith. Well, if it go down, I mean, if, if it's going to go down, this is one of them celebrity matches I'm definitely wanting to see. Definitely. I like, want to be uh, there. I want to be in a tent. I wish I could be a fucking announcer. Like, I want to be, I wanna yeah, be, a, right? I wanna be a commentator. I would love to be a commentator in that shit. That shit would be, oh, my God, that should be hilarious. But I got Elon. Like, you know what I mean? You got to stand for something, man. I got Elon. All uh, right, shout to Elon. Jacket, speaking of brawls, please tell me you saw that, uh, and maybe you didn't. Cause I damn sure did, and I seen the footage. Mayweather, he fought. Oh yeah, I seen that shit. G that shit was lit. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was lit. <laughs> that shit was lit. <laughs> where was I? Just don't under I don't understand where the animosity came from. Like, where was all the animosity? Like, why was it so much? Cause if you watch the fight, you could see it was like it was like a lot of animosity. Like you could tell when Floyd like getting to people, getting in people's head and like. You could tell it was like a lot of back and forth. Like they like grab, they clinching, but they talking shit. So I just don't, I don't, I don't understand what the animosity was. Like this is Gotti's, Gotti's son and fucking Mayweather. Like what is, where is the animosity? I just don't see it. Like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously you saw that it was a brawl that broke up. The shit was lit like, though. I ain't gonna lie. That that's shit. crazy. You see how Mayweather, I love how Mayweather could just, like his his boxing, like he's such a good boxer. Like it don't take him no time. Like he just like he gets right into action. Like whatever it coming, he just like he ready for it. Like he just like I love how he just don't like under pressure. Like he just still perform. Like he just got to like boom boom. It was nothing. Like but I just don't I don't understand where all the animosity came from. Why? Right? And then you got the fucking sister threatening. Yeah, yeah. He threatening. She yeah, threatening his daughter. Got daughter. Yeah, so she I just did, don't. I she just, just um, I gotta yeah, hear yeah, the backstory. NBA young boy. I need to hear the backstory and where this where this animosity came because it don't. It was lit, but it just didn't make no sense. I don't. I didn't understand it. Like what the fuck? Like you know what I mean? And then now yeah. you got a young boy. You got a young boy. He come out. He has some shit to say, but. It's, I don't know, bro. It was, just, it was a shit show, really. But I just, it didn't make, it was lit. It was like some good, it was some good. Because you got to understand, this is a fucking exhibition fight anyway. This ain't like it was no real boxing match. It's some exhibition shit. So really, like, 
it was cool. That was like some, it was really like some baddies shit, some baddies e shit, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just like yep, the baddies yep. shit, like, it made boxing exciting finally. Something exciting happened again in boxing, but it just didn't make sense. I didn't understand it. Uh, what the fuck? Like, what kind of beef these niggas got? Like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, but it, 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 you know what's what's crazy? Because if you ever doubted Floyd, I mean, you it's a lot of reasons not to like Floyd. Floyd got a big mouth. Floyd Floyd got more money <laughs> than most human That's beings. Not, I don't feel like it's a lot Earth. of reasons not to like Floyd. I feel like it's I I feel like it's more reasons to like Floyd. Like I like Floyd. I fuck with Floyd. Like so do I. You know so what do I. Mean? I but then I, from, like, from I think he's others... a great boxer. Like he a dope nigga. Like I don't agree with like certain shit he do. Like the eighteen million dollar watch. I don't agree with uh, all these fucking Bentleys and stupid. Ass. Like I don't I don't agree with like I wouldn't do that shit. But like I can't say. I don't like his things that I don't like. That's a lot not to like. Like it's a lot. No, the, like I'm, I'm saying just in general, there's a lot of people that don't like Floyd because he talk it, but he actually on every level can back it up. He talked that money talk, but he, he really can back like, that that's up. Thing. What other, what, he talked. He, do he you talked want him that. Talk? I agree. Like what type? What other type of talk? With somebody with money talk like he talk money he got money nigga money Mayweather money the money team money Mayweather we nigga we get into that bag like what else do you want to hear Floyd talk about I don't want to hear Floyd fucking try to explain the fucking stars in the sky and Jupiter to me like we don't want to hear that. <laughs> like I want to hear fucking Floyd talk that money shit like money Floyd the money team I want that's what you want to hear so it, like I don't understand what y'all want to hear if y'all don't want to hear it, Stop watching him, nigga. It's the money team, nigga. It's just, it is what it is. It's the money team. Like, nigga, if you don't like it, don't watch, nigga. This nigga gonna talk money. Like, nigga, it's Floyd Mayweather, nigga. Money Mayweather. This nigga talk money, nigga. That's it. You know what I mean? It's crazy, because even at 46 years old. Nigga, like, still the great. He's still, like, still. Tip top shape. Top shape. The sweet science, like the, 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 the true sweet science of boxing. Hit, but don't get hit. Make big niggas look, you know, use they, their size against them. Because use their size and their strength was clearly, against them. Yeah, like that's, he is the blueprint for the sweet science. That's not just, you know, getting in the ring and brawling. Mm -mm. Nah, like, like I, I make this look easy. He does. He really like, does. I that. really make this look easy. Yeah, he really does. That. I swear, I say it all the time. I say this nigga do that shit like effortlessly. Like he makes it look easy. It's so like effortless. It's like, but I, I just think, I think he get a lot of hate because of his cockiness. Like that's what it is. I feel like if he was more humble about it, he would. I think it's only his confidence, like his cockiness, that makes people. It makes people. It makes people jealous. Like a lot of people, like, you know, people might get jealous and people like, people start to want to see you lose. Like people want to like, it's like you winning too much, nigga. So, so it makes people become the antagonist. It makes you the antagonist. And like, you know what I mean? It kind of like throws you into the realm of antagonist. But it's like, I think if, if he was any other way, we he wouldn't be who he was. Like, you know what I mean? That's what we can to to know and respect, nigga. Money Mayweather, the money team, nigga. The, that's what I feel. You know what I mean? That's what I that's what I that made me respect it. I mean, I respect his greatness as a boxer, but he talked that shit. He talked that big money shit. It's motivating to niggas. Niggas wanna see niggas like niggas love to see. I love to see another black man reach the, you know what I mean? That's sitting up there on the level of these other billionaires and millionaires and could talk that little shit and like, you know what I mean? Like we need a nigga like Mayweather up there. Like we don't need everybody up there sounding like fucking Lee Daniels or the, the you know what I mean? Like we don't need everybody yeah, up yeah. there sounding like fucking Lee Daniels and fucking fucking Tyler Perry. Like, nah, we need some niggas with some bread that still could talk that nigga shit too. Like, you know what I mean? That's why I fuck with my brother. Oh, God. Well, you know, speaking of talking that money talk, Young Miami, she she had a Q and A with her fans and, and she actually said, yo, I, I'd still have a baby with Diddy. 
And um, basically, she said, I don't need the I don't need the rap. My box pays the bills. So she said she got that good stuff. That that's what's paying the bills. What make her different than 90 percent of the, everybody else in Hollywood? Or fucking all these basketball wives and the fucking y'all got whole shows like dedicated to nothing but chicks that came up off of their box. Like, what makes her any different? Like, all these bro came up off of their box. Merlin Monroe, like, any of the president's wives are like, you know what I mean? Like, like all these people like Jackie O, like, oh, you got famous off of your box. Like, like you know what I mean? That's what God gave you, your God-given talents. Like, why not? That's the best thing in the world to get rich and be able to be successful off of your God-given talents. Like, it's like the nigga that could dunk and play basketball. You seven foot tall, you could dunk and play basketball, but you work at fucking Chick-fil-A. Why wouldn't you be getting rich off of fucking dunking it? Like, you know what I mean? So God gave her talents. If God gave you some good box, you know what I mean? You go give me, why not? Like, <laughs> God gave you some good. That's like me. I'm a nigga like, you know what I mean? I ain't never been called no slouch in the bedroom. Like, why wouldn't I capitalize off of that? Like, if I know I could, like, you know what I mean? If I know I could hit Lou Neal, I could go hit Lou Neal in the ass and probably she'd buy me a Harley. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> like, like, why wouldn't I? Like, it's like, shit, man. I go, like, you know what I mean? Like, shit. Yeah. I can't be mad at no female that came up off of her God-given talents. Like, that's, like, that's what you supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, um, she doing it. She is she crystal clear. What, what what she got can pay the bills. Did did you see that video, of Keith Murray? Like he was, it looked like he was tweaking in the, like in the middle of the street. I don't know what this dude was on. I seen who was tweaking. No, I seen Kodak Black. I didn't see the one with Keith. I seen Kodak Black tweaking on some shit. They talk about him. That, that nigga looks smart. But we know he's on drugs. Like he's a he's a clear drug addict. Like, but Keith Murray too. That been that potter. He's like, if did you have you seen his interview? That what's that? The art of dialogue? It, yeah, yeah. Definitely yeah. that's that potter. I never like I never watched the Keith Murray interview. Like watching that shit, definitely a dope head. Like way dope fiend. Like super dope fiend. Like it's not even it's like crystal clear like you a crystal clear dope fan so any of the, like you could tell he just cleaned up to do these interviews like you could tell on the regular any given day you might catch Keith Murray at the liquor store buying a 211 and a fucking glass rose to like, 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 <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie like he, he gives off that vibe for sure yo it's just so I mean, I mean it's I'm gonna tell you something Bosco real talk it's heartbreaking. Like, I used to love the Death Squad. I used to love that whole movement back in the days to see where Keith Murray. Like, this is this is this is Keith Murray, the most beautiful thing in the world, dude. And this dude in the middle of the street looking blasted, looking like he out his mind. He ain't even on planet Earth. He's somewhere on Jupiter. I was like, thing. yo. These niggas ain't been getting money in years. Like, you got to think, when the last hit these niggas had? When the last album they dropped? Like, so you got to think, these niggas is living average lives. And what is average niggas doing? Out here getting high and doing, like, bro, he's like on the... So you got to think, this nigga's been getting high and doing shit for years. And he's not rich as he used to be. That's not nothing... That's not even peculiar... To see that nigga in the middle of the street twacked out, like you, you, like you would expect, like it's like these niggas been dope head niggas for years, and he ain't rich as he used to be. Like you might just see that nigga down in Chinatown, or like you know what I mean. It's not even, it's not surprising, bro. It's not surprising. It's like it was just like, like who else? Who was another like like? I'm trying to think of somebody else that was like super drugged out. It was like, bro, these niggas, you got to think they was doing, these niggas been getting high since the early 90s and 80s and early 90s and shit. Like, and these niggas ain't had hits in years. So they not making no money like that. These niggas done came down the regular. So it's like, nigga, you might just see that nigga in big lots one day. You know what I mean? Big lots yeah, buying yeah. some soap looking twack the fuck out. Like, it just it's not even surprising. It's not surprising. 
Yeah, it might not be surprising, but it's heartbreaking. Yeah, it's it probably heartbreaking. Yeah, because he was a nigga, though, back in the day. That the most beautifulest thing in this world. And like, yeah, he, he, he was definitely, he definitely like, like a rap. One of the pioneers, or if you want to call it, or one of the, I ain't going to say the GOAT. I can't really say one of the GOAT. Nah, but. you wouldn't call him one of the GOATs, but what, what was, you would say, I mean, he was part of, he, he was, was part of a dope era. He was, he was an instrumental part of the culture. I'll say that. Definitely. So for somebody who named, well, like coming up for me, he was, he was big and he was a big part of the culture. So it was like, it's, it is like, I ain't going to say heartbreaking. It's it's disappointing. It's disappointing to see him back down at this level. Like at this level, it's disappointing. But honestly, it's like it's realistic to me. It's like it's disappointingly realistic because I've seen so many other niggas just liking like people that was big at one point and now they just you know what I mean. It just ain't happening like that and now. You just fell off to the straight drugs. Like it went from you being rich and on drugs to you just being on drugs. Like it's a lot of it's exactly. a lot of people like that. Like I know dope dealer. Like I know I, it's crazy because I just ran into a dope dealer. I know a dope dealer. He was well. He used to be a dope dealer. He used to be like well. He was a pimp, not a dope dealer. He was like a pimp. He used to have whole, all these hoes. He had all these women and shit. But then he became a smoker. That nigga start smoking dope. But he still was like, it, it came to a point he was smoking. You could tell he was falling off from the pimp and smoking dope, but he was still like kind of fly and still had his shit. Fast forward now, I see him now. Nigga smoked all the way out, like all the way smoked out, like just damn near pushing a basket smoked out now. And it's like, damn. it's like, damn, like, but it's not heartbreaking because it's like, it's more realistic. It's just like, you know what? Like that's that's what that that's what that's what's in store for you. Like that's you know what I mean. When you live in that kind of life, and and, and that's what you into, that's the next level for you. Like it, it, there is no, it's no the next level is up. Like you're on a spiral down. Like you're not on a spiral up. You're on a downward spiral. It's not an upward spiral. So it's like. If that's the life you chose for yourself, and that's the that's what you chose to do, that was your. This is your. You know what I mean? This is your prime right here. Then, like this, you know what I mean? You chose to be a alcoholic, drug head type nigga. This is the prime of that shit. Like you know what I mean? What you thought you were gonna spiral up? No, it's the downward spiral. He just, he just, you know what I mean? He had where he had with it, basically. Nah, I just really hope he get help, man. Because, I mean. It, it, it ain't no secret within the community that he been out there for years, but whatever he on, man, I mean, you know, he probably, he done hit rock bottom. So, I so nigga smoking that shit, I, man. I, I pray he get help. I really do. I got to bring this thing full circle right back to you. Crip Mac. Fuck that nigga. He, he said he going to start calling you instead of Bosco, Costco. I said I'm gonna knock his big stupid ass out. You see I mean, the he, you see the shirt. He said he gonna call. You see the shirt. <laughs> he said, "Yo, come take this fade." I said, "Come take the fade." See, that's like look. Just for the record, I'm glad you said that. Cause just for the record, he did not call me out. I called him out. He didn't want to fight. He wasn't trying to box. He wasn't trying to have no box. I damn near begged the nigga to have a boxing match, like, just because I wanted to fight him. Like, oh, like, ooh, this going to be a real challenge. Like, you know what I mean? So I damn near begged the nigga to accept the boxing match, just for the record. Like, he wasn't even trying to box. So then fast forward a little bit. They started, we got hit up by the promoter. Well, I got the call from the promoters. They wanted us to, you know what I mean? They wanted to put the fight together, but they wasn't talking about enough bread for me. Like, you know what I mean? So that was the situation. Like, it was just... Like, we was talking about doing the fight. I was willing to do the fight. He was willing to do the fight. They, the promoters that we were dealing with, just, they just didn't have, they they just couldn't give me what I'm, what I'm asking for, what I want. They couldn't give me nothing close to it. And it's just, you know what I mean? They put the, it, the fight not off. I'm not going to say it's off. 
it's just postponed. It's like, you know what I mean? It's postponed. Got you. Uh, yo, do you and his dude, do, do y'all got, do y'all know each other? Y'all got history? It wasn't like, a, all right, see the thing with him, with this dude, he was a, um, uh, one of my close, one of my close partners, he real close with a, with some of his partners from 55th, from 55, and he know a lot of them over there, one of my close partners. So when Crip Max started to blow up and he seen, you know what I mean? He seen Crip Max starting to do his shit. He reached out to me like, man, you will do. You seen this dude, Crip Max? He like, you know, I know his homies and shit, man. He like, man, I want to link y'all up, man. I think y'all y'all do some shit together. It'd be funny as fuck. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I'm like, yeah, I see the nigga or whatever. I see him. I'm like, all right, cool. He like, I'm going to give him your number. Tell him to hit you. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. So the nigga, he hit me, right? He, he, he texted me. He sent me a text message. And it was just off the off the rip. I just didn't like his text message. The way he was texting me, the way he was talking, like it was just like I didn't like him off the rip. So I'm like, you know what I mean? So the nigga gets to talking shit. He gets to talking shit. And I didn't like, I didn't really, I kind of like ignored it. But then I'm like, he really started getting like, he started really gaining some traction with this shit. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? So it was like. You finally, like, it was worth me responding. Like, at first, I wasn't responding. Like, I was just like, bro. But then, like, it just became, it made sense. Like, and he's still talking this shit, though. So I'm like, you know, we started going back and forth or whatever. And we were supposed to do a fight previously, but he ended up catching that case. And he had to turn himself in and go to jail. So, like, the day he went to jail, they was calling, trying to get us to, hurry up and sign a deal so he could get some money real quick because he knew he was going to jail. So fast forward, you know, he in jail doing his thing. I'm, I got, you know, other shit going on. I'm continuing on in my life. I'm not even tripping off the dude no more. I forgot all about him. So then all of a sudden now he come home from jail. He come home from jail. The first interview he come out of jail, he, oh, fuck. Fuck Costco, he's a custer and we'll do all this extra shit talking. So it just like it just basically kicked the dust up back for me. Like I was I was already over it and wasn't tripping, but he came home and wanna, you know what I mean? You wanna come home and disrespect me in your first interview. So I wanna punch you on your fucking face. Like it was basically like that. Like, all right, you wanna talk? I wanna punch you on your fucking face. So I hurry up and start putting the fight together. Like, you know what I mean? Let's get this shit, let's get this shit done. People know I'll squabble. So it's like, yeah, let's get this shit done. So it was looking good. We start promoting it. But at the last minute, when they start coming with the contracts, I didn't like how the numbers was looking in the contracts. I didn't, I wasn't feeling them numbers. I'm like, wait a minute. Cause the numbers we discussed when we when we verbally discussed this and we agreed to come in and do this, put this shit together. It was a whole different set of numbers. But now all of a sudden that we start, we, you know, we start, we start the momentum and we got people talking about this shit. Now, when you come with the contract on the contract, you trying to get me to sign for some whole different numbers. And it just, I wasn't feeling that. So, you know what I mean? We had to get the money right. The money got to get right. So that's, it's kind of just, it just put the fight on hold, basically. We still want to fight. I want to fight. He want to fight. But we just need, you know what I mean? The business got to be right. The business ain't right. And that's just it. Got you. Okay, before I let you up out of here, um, last time me and you sat down, you you made a statement, and, I, and, and I'm sure you knew in the moment it was going to be a little controversial considering who you was talking about, meaning... You said a lot of the rolling 60s said Eric Holder was in his right for killing Nipsey. The clip went up. And of course, a lot of people voiced their opinions on it. And Vlad in particular said he actually got caught. I mean, called. By somebody he knew that reached out on behalf of um, Nipsey's family, saying how upset they were about that statement. See, this is the thing you gotta understand. Like, like they with them, they from the same hood, and 
a lot of people don't know the inner workings of the hood and how shit go, a lot of shit go, but everybody ain't, it's not finna be everybody. Like, I know you got your Nipsey fans out here and they wanna see, they think shit's supposed to go a certain way. And, but obviously in the gang world, a lot of the, a lot of the gang, like they not gonna jump on the internet and say it, but a lot of them, a lot of the niggas from his own hood, they gonna feel like Eric Holder was in the right and he did what he, what he was supposed to do. As a as a gangster, as a street nigga, you know what I mean? As a street nigga, he really did what he was supposed to do. Now on the flip side, the family and the friends and the fans, they feel like, you know, fuck this nigga. But as far as the gang go, it's gonna always be split. Cause you're gonna have some niggas that feel like he shouldn't have did that. And then you're gonna have the other side of niggas that feel like he did what he was supposed to do. He more wrong in the fans' eyes than he is in the gang's eyes, honestly. But it wasn't, it was just the truth. Like, it's just the truth. It wasn't, cause I fuck with Nip. Like, I'm, I was a Nip. I fucked with Nip from day one. Like, when I first got out of jail, I heard him. So it wasn't anything to be like, it wasn't, I was, it wasn't me being disrespectful or anything. It was just me being brutally honest. Like, it's just the honor, like, like, you know, a lot of people, I, that, like I said, like, I said it when I said it, a lot of people, Eric Holder gonna be more wrong in the fans' eyes than a lot of his homies' eyes, than a lot of Crips, like, you know what I mean? Like, people that just love and got so much love for Nip, of course, they don't want to hear that, but I'm just speaking on the sad truth and politics and the way that shit goes. Like, it's a lot of people, like the same way you got a lot of people feeling like, oh no, fuck this dude. It's a lot of people on the other side of that coin. It's always a flip-sided coin. So, but you're not, you're the people and the public only hear the outcries of the fans. You guys are hearing the other side of this shit and these other, you know what I mean? These other street dudes. So that's all I was, that, that's all I was saying. Like, I'm just saying, like, yeah, you gonna, you hear, you would think that, like, you want to think like, oh, yeah, Eric Holder gonna get in jail. He ain't gonna be able to touch no main line. He ain't gonna be able to touch. But, like, that's not just necessarily the case. Like, you know what I mean? It's a lot of people inside there that ain't gonna let him get touched. So it's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like a split. It's gonna be like a, you know what I mean? It's flip-sided coin. You're gonna have these niggas over here who feel like this. But in all actuality, in all honesty, you got these other niggas over here that don't feel like that. So that's all I was saying, like, because I hear, I hear the other side of it. Like, yeah, I, yeah, the people and the public and they hear and know all this, but I'm a nigga that really know niggas and I'm really out here and I hear these kind of, and I know everybody doesn't feel the same way. And that's, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, uh, I feel bad, like, if the family felt any kind of way, but. It's just the sad, brutal truth. It's just, that's just the truth. Well, that's all it is, just the truth. Everybody don't feel the same way. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, if people can't say nothing else about you, you speak your truth. You, 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 you're brutally honest. You just tell it like it is, unfiltered. That's it. So, yeah, like, like you know, even, even as we sit, and we have these discussions. Yeah, I be laughing. And you be saying some funny stuff at times, but it's real. Yeah, it's just the like, truth. You can't really argue with the truth. Exactly. And that's so, all I was saying. That's all I wanted the people. I just wanted the people to, cause I, I get tired of people saying that. Like I hear so much. Like, oh yeah, he ain't gonna be able to test the man. Like, oh yeah, he gonna get killed in jail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I be hearing this, and I be like. These people really just like so sure of this. So I just had to be like the one that is just like, bro, don't just don't think that. Like, don't cause jail, jail don't necessarily work that way. Gang bang politics don't work that way. Like, you know what I mean? The politics don't necessarily like it's not just necessarily finna be that. Like you think that, like you you would like to think like, oh yeah, this how you gonna be as soon as he goes. Me and Cowboy had the same discussion. We talked about it. Like it's just the brutal, honest fact is 
everybody not going to feel the same way. So it's going to be some people. It's going to be some. You're going to have some people in here that like, no, we need to get this nigga. Ooh, ooh. But you're going to have some some people in here that's on his side. Like, no, nah, nigga, no, he don't. That's the homie. And ooh, ooh, he did. You know what I mean? It's just going to. That's it. That's all I mean. It's going to be a people just like. But on the Internet, all you hear is, oh, yeah, they're going to get him. He's not going to last. They're going to get him. Not necessarily. That's all I just wanted people to know. Not necessarily. It ain't necessarily just going to go like that. That's all I was saying. That's it. All right. With that being said, we're ended there, kid. Yeah. But you know, much love and respect. Like Nip, Nip and Nip people, people around Nip that knew, that knew how I knew Nip and all like, bro, I'm, I'm not saying nothing wrong. They just, they like, they know I'm telling the truth. Like it's just that's it. it's just the truth, bro. Like when it comes to like when it comes to real street politics and real prison politics, shit don't always work how these public like you know what I mean. It ain't gonna like the public, the people in the public, and these fans and these they got a certain perception and shit, and they don't really truly know the inner workings of the of the gangs and and, and the prison. Like, I'm a nigga that knows how these inner workings go, and I know these people, and I talk to these people. So I know that everybody doesn't feel the same way. Like, I know, like, personally, everybody don't feel the same way. So I just wanted, I don't want the people to be so naive where they just stuck, get stuck on that idea like that. I want you to know the flip side of that. I'm going to tell you the real, you know what I mean? I want you to know the whole story. I'm not going to tell you just, one side. I don't want to discuss one side of the story. If we're going to talk about it, let's talk about the whole story. Let's discuss both sides. I want to hear, you know what I mean? I want to hear the niggas from the other side too. But like in the media, they're not going to tell you the other side of the story. They're not going to shine the light on the other side of the story. They're only going to shine the light on this side. And You know what I mean? But it's a whole nother side of the story that ain't nobody telling. It's just like when G Malone, G Malone came out with that um, Tupac Must Die you ever hear that? He came out with the Tupac yeah, Must Die. Yeah, yeah. Basically telling the story from Orlando's point of view. And it was never been done. Like nobody, you know what I mean? Nobody, this whole time, everything was just pop, 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 pop. But what about how, how Orlando was feeling and how, you know what I mean? The people that loved him felt and it. And I'll just, that's all I'm just saying. It just was, it's two sides to, it's two sides to the coin. And we can't just, only talk about one side and not discuss the other side either. And I just felt like nobody was discussing that other side. So I had to say it. Like, you know what I mean? That's all it was, though. It wasn't no disrespect, though. It wasn't. They know I like, everybody know I got how much I love to respect. You know what I mean? I have big, major love and respect for Nip. So, but we have to keep it real. Like, me and what I do, I can't just, I can't just sit here and play dumb or like I don't know how this shit go like I you know what I mean I know how shit go and I know how I know how them inner workings and I know how the yard is I know how game banging is I know how I know how these niggas is so I just feel it's my duty to to raise that other point like you know what I mean that was it nah I mean um again I don't think nobody can accuse you of saying it in a malicious way. Yeah, no. You you just spoke your truth. So, that being said, my brother, it's always my pleasure, Bosco. Real talk, like like I had a lot of fun, and I can't wait for us to do this again. Yes, sir. I ain't even. I, I they didn't even tell me that I was interviewing with you again today. I thought Vlad was gonna be here, but when I walked in and when they said like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna see a Sean Reddy," I was like, "Okay, dope." Uh, yeah. It was dope. <laughs> Oh nah, I think after the last one, I th Vlad was like, yo, y'all got chemistry. Like, keep yeah. it going. Let's go, man. The marathon continues. There you go. My brother, be safe out there. Yes, sir. Love, bro. Love.